Hello, and welcome to Scarlet Hollow Episode 1 by Black Tabby Games, which is the combination of Abby Howard and Tony Howard Arias. Down on link in the description to play this. This is Episode 1 of a much larger uh, visual novel with other episodes, uh, which is currently being kickstarted, which is in the description. Uh, so if you're watching this around the time the videos release, uh, the Kickstarter ends October 29th, 2020. Not many days left, less than a week. Uh, so you should go check it out and support the developers. I would appreciate that. Uh, and you, you should also check out the GoFundMe link in the description to support an indigenous trans woman's recovery and survival fund. So I just appreciate it. If you checked out the Kickstarter, check out the GoFundMe and it'll be, it'll be a good time and I'd appreciate it. So this is a horror visual novel with hand-drawn art, which looks very good. I'm really digging the music as well. Uh, it sounds pretty good. Uh, it was, it's a horror visual novel with dating. So we're going to get to do some scary dating, I, I think. Uh, I, I wanted to be surprised uh, by the game, so I didn't really look too much into it. Uh, I did poke around uh, in these screens, and there's some neat like accessibility things you can do, like different fonts and stuff. Also, a built-in text-to-speech, which... Uh, this game was made in Rempi. I don't know if that's a standard feature in Rempi. I doubt it is. Um, I don't play a whole lot of visual novels, but I just thought that was a really cool and useful thing. So let's jump into the game. My name. My name is Zach. I live in the city of Texas. That's the one I live in. I also tend to use that one. Uh, and we get to select two traits. Traits unlock additional paths and dialogue options. So this will probably be important to scary things happening, daily life, we get to date. So we should probably think about our choices very carefully. So we can be powerful, uh, strong, athletic, can shotgun root beer in three seconds, pretty powerful, uh, mystical, strange and unusual, street smart, smells BS, also good at BS, no door can hold you, a keen eye, observant, picks up on vibes, understands others' perspectives, book smart, you, learn, you know a lot of fun facts, research is your favorite activity, straight A student, hot, attractive charming people want to either be with you or be you so hot is obviously pro probably the best option but we're not going to pick it we're not going to be hot because i think that keen eye would be important and um any any horror scenario being able to be a little just a little observant picking up on vibes uh is probably pretty important also understanding others perspectives just a useful thing uh when scary things happen i have a bad knee-jerk reaction of oh i should punch which has led to a lot of scenarios where i'm watching a movie and i'm just like why don't they just punch the ghost and that's not a good idea so we're not going to be powerful and I, i'm not smart so i'm not allowed to pick those so we're going with mystical and keen eye it's just the way it's going to be you jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump you feel like you'd only just managed to start drifting off and now here you are Awake again, and still exhausted. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here is, but confu uh, confusing this bus with many others that came before it, but as your mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. The long-lost cousin, the bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless late-night stops into uh, seedy depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. The funeral of her mother, your aunt, seems like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. Um, <clears throat> fortunately, the end of your long journey is in sight. You're almost in... Scarlet Hollow. That's that's the name of the game. So anyway, as I was saying, oh, this, this guy's been. I want to. Yeah, that's an amazing shirt. Uh, oh no, he's still here. He's been sitting next to you for the past five hours, talking at you without pause. You're not even sure he stopped when you started to doze off. At first, you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversations ago. I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messing around because I was a dumb teen. Aw, oh, look at that cute little face. I can't be mad at the stranger with the great shirt. And me and my buddies are <laughs> me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff. You know, pushing joggers into harbor, that sort of stuff. I don't like him anymore. It's a good shirt, but not not good. Um yeah, we're we're just gonna Yeah, what's wrong with you? I was like, oh, that's my name. <laughs> like, it's complete dumbass. I typed it in at the beginning of the game. Dude, what's wrong with you? Pushing joggers into the harbor? That's awful. What if they drowned? Heh, 
Yeah, I was such a shithead back then. I'm still a bit of a shithead, but hey, Poe Buddy's nerfed. So this girl, God, the damn, the face is so good, but I don't like him. <laughs> so this girl comes up with to us, swinging her purse, yelling about how she was going to call the cops or whatever. It was hilarious. She actually hit my friend, and he said it hurt a lot. So I guess she really was mad, though, and not just playing. God, th these faces are just such good uh, emotions, um, like emoting right off the bat. But she kept swinging, and she was getting closer and closer to the edge. So soon enough, she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even have to push her. We had a good laugh, but we fished her out, and her phone got soaked so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound up hanging out all day. She became... Wow. Hmm. She kind of became my girlfriend after that, and we've been on and off for about a year, so it's pretty serious. Though... About five months ago, she tried to break up with me for real, and geez, you ever just get so mad you, like, want to kill somebody? Um, see, this is, this is, smile and pretend he didn't say that's probably a good moment. Um, but I, I don't, I don't think we like this very emotive stranger. Why are you telling me this? I have never felt that way about another person, which isn't true. So, sometimes, sometimes you you, you, you feel you feel the urge, but we don't like this guy, so we're we're getting mad at him. Uh, I have never lie felt this way about another person, and I find it alarming that you have. You're a sick person. Eh, you're young. You'll get it when someone tries to break your heart one day. It changes a person, makes them think things they've never thought they could. Ha! Ah, I honestly could have killed that woman. Not a, not a thing you should be laughing about. Anyway, she's giving birth to her son right now, so I'm trying to get up to Virginia to be there for it. Damn, this guy is... This guy's a bundle of everything. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm, like, into that stuff, so I might just wind up on a bus to New York or something instead. I always wanted to go there. Oh, so this is a thing that we can, uh... Keen eye, so we'll get different text options. It, it probably said that. I... You forgot because I'm dumb. Um, we, maybe we should uh, use our keen eye. You know, he's being a shithead. He even said it himself. But maybe, maybe we, with our perspective, we can kind of lead him to thinking a bit better. Although saying, do you love her enough to make this work, probably might push him more towards New York. But we're, we'll try it. We're able to do it. So let's do it. You were so worked up by the thought of losing her that you wanted to kill her. But now that she's giving birth to a child you created together, you're planning on running off? Even if you love her, think about whether that love is strong enough that you'd be able to handle raising the sea. We're probably pushing him towards uh, New York, but also he seems to have become disinterested in us, so this might have worked out for us. Think about how your actions are going to impact his life and whether removing yourself would be better for him in the long run. Huh, yeah, good stuff to think about. Anyways, where'd you say you're headed? <laughs> I'm returning to my ancestral home. Um, that's just a good response, so... I'm returning to my ancestral home. My, <clears throat> my mother fled her destiny there many years ago, but now both she and her sister are departed from this world. I can feel it calling me back. <laughs> the young man anxiously shifts in his seat for one perceptible moment, and it's his turn to feel uncomfortable before he catches himself and heartily laughs. No ha this time, though. Oh, you must be talking about Scarlet Hollow, right? Or the Holler, as they call it in the mountains. It's the only other stop this but until this bus turns around. So if you're if you aren't getting off at my stop, you must be headed up that way. Almost no one ever goes there. I'm usually alone on this bus by now. Though actually, I had a couple of buddies who went up there for work in the mine. There's a coal mine up in the holler, you see, and there's always a job listing or two on the boards around there. I've never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. Thanks, but my buddy has got desperate enough to try it. I've I haven't heard from them in a while. Now that I think about it, I should see if they're on Facebook. See how they're doing up there. Ha! Ah, hope they didn't die. He looks back at his phone, for once focused on something other than you, and the brakes were hit. Oh, this is me. It was lovely meeting you. I hope you don't get too bored without me around to talk to. Here, I have something for you. Are those boiled peanuts? The stranger rifles through his bag before presenting you with a dripping bag of peanuts. They're boiled peanuts. Got them at a gas station a few buses back. Uh, but I, I noticed you haven't eaten much, so I figured you could use them more than me. Plus, they dripped all over my bag, so I don't want to carry them anymore. Nice. I love boiled peanuts. I don't want to take the peanuts. Uh, <laughs> screw you and screw your peanuts. Yeah, I... Yeah. 
Oh, wait, if we say that, he might get mad and give like throw the peanuts at it. So we'll just we'll just take the peanuts. Thanks. You're welcome. And with that, I leave you safe travels, friend. Well, now we can probably get some shut eye and or stare at our peanuts. And just like that, the stranger is gone. Maybe you can finally get some sleep. Next stop, Scarlet Hollow, end of the line. Almost there. And then we take a nice little nap. Here we are, Scarlet Hollow. The schedule, it arrives at Monday, 11 a.m. <laughs> it departs <laughs> It departs at 11.01 a.m. I just had to make sure that I was seeing that right. Not, that might be 12. Uh, you know how ones can be sometimes where they can look like twos. And also, you know, that's relatable, right? The bus finally comes to a stop. It's brakes squealing as it deposits you in front of the Scarlet Hollow bus station. Well, the sign reads bus station, but calling it that feels disingenuous. Uh, at best, it's a kiosk. Oh, at best, it's a kiosk. I didn't notice the period. Uh, though, for a small town like this, you're amazed. There's so much as a road, let alone a bus that drives to it or drives on it every week. The driver quickly shuts the door, the door, the the door behind you, and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as the bus pulls away, eager to leave you and this place behind. Hey, Zach. You instantly re uh, recognize the the worn young woman from a few public photos of her on her Facebook page. She's your cousin, Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. Uh, we can offer the boy a peanut. Mm. Uh, it, we, we should probably just give her condol condolences. I doubt she wants the boy boiled peanuts. I don't think anybody should be eating those boiled peanuts. Not that boiled peanuts are bad, just, you know. We're, we're, the, the origin of the, the peanuts. I'm so sorry for your loss, Tabitha. Yeah, great. Thank you. I, we had to try. Let's get back to the estate. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Your cousin turns around and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. You follow her, clambering into the dusty relic. That's how... Dusty relic. That's how you say that. It's, it's not a sentence. It's two, two words. It doesn't take much driving before the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as she focuses on the road. Tip. Oh, this is just uh, dialogue. Dialogue options can uh, labeled explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Okay, so we should always explore everything. How are you holding up? Fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was like it and it was going to throw us back. Um... Are you sure? You seem tense. Oh, are you sure? Are <clears throat> are you sure you're all right? You seem tense. You know you can talk to me, right? I went through something similar when my own mom passed. She tenses up even more at the mention of your mom before letting out a heavy sigh. Maybe it's a sore spot for her. Yeah, her, her mom died. <laughs> you quickly apologize. I'm sorry. I know that's probably not what you're looking to hear right now. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine. Really. Tabitha stares ahead, her expression tense and icy. Yeah, the, I guess we're both members of the Dead Mom Club, huh? Yeah, that's that's the reaction you should get from. I probably shouldn't have said that one, but the game said I could, and it could impact relationships, which also means I could negatively impact relationships. Your cousin turns to stare at you, an icy hatred in her eyes. Maybe this would have worked to ease the tension if she was if she were someone else, but she isn't. She turns back to the road, her expression cold and unforgiving. I feel like we lost some points there. So the funeral—it's on Sunday, right? Yep. Like I told you. Jeez, that's almost a whole week. Uh, need any help planning? Open casket. Uh, let's just ask if she needs any help. I mean, she probably doesn't if it's a week away. I don't know how soon you can plan funerals. Don't really know how that works. Never had to do one. Uh, do you need any help planning? If you ever need help with errands or scheduling, feel free to ask. I know this stuff isn't easy. It's actually been fine. I just needed the confidence in someone to dig a hole. Tabitha stares straight ahead. Her expression... Tense, and believe it or not, icy. Uh, have we ever actually met before? I'm pretty sure this is the first time, right? Yep, you have your mom to thank for that. Or had, I guess. I can sense a deep scar in our... That's probably not a good thing to say. Um... Haha, <laughs> yeah, dead, dead mom's club. Um... You know, let's we we, we should pro we we could use our mystical option since we we took it, but I don't think that's probably a great thing to say. She doesn't seem to uh, t tense and icy, you know. Let's just ask if 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 we're cool, you know. 
I'm sorry, but is there bad blood between us? All I know is that my mom left, and she was mad at this side of the family, but I don't know much besides that. Your cousin stares ahead, her expression icy. Yeah, well, I guess we'll remain silent. You decide to sit in silence with your cousin. Uh, uh, decide is a strong word. Um, with uh, You decide to sit in silence with your cousin as the car eases up at the steep mountain road. That's the, is this, this is the, this is the, the title screen. Hey, hey, cuz, that's the title screen. That also, this part does not look safe. Not, not a, like the building's already like kind of falling apart, but that extra not safe. And here it is, the Scarlet Estate, the old family homestead, though it's seen better days. It's crumbling elegance is not lost on you. Someone used to dingy apartments and gray cities. Yeah, now we're in gray brown town. Your mother told you about this place uh, many times before she passed away, always with an anger burning beneath her words. The faded majesty you once imagined doesn't quite compare with what's in front of you, a jarring blend of opulence and ruin as you stare at its per as you stare at its per as you stare at its perched on the crumbling cliff oh as you stare at it perched on the I, I for some reason read that as an it, it, it's my bad as you stare at it perched on the crumbling cliffside you can't help but feel it's something that should have been left to rot a long long time ago oh that guy does not look happy got oh see a dog we can pet the dog and the, the thing you, ne you never want to see uh, I mean you know I like goats they're cute oh I just noticed the scary painting um I like goats. I think they're cute. Probably not a good thing when you walk in and see a goat like that, since that's that's normally one of them Satans. Uh, and there's like a little like angel baby over there. So, oh, there's another dog. I didn't see this dog. So we'll pet that dog too. Probably, probably the same dog. That's a mystery. We'll have to find out as we play along. As soon as you enter, you're hit with a blast of dusty air. Everything in this room has been here much longer than you've been alive. Each object cemented in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear doors creak on their hinges and the aches of moans of ancient floorboards as the house itself sways in the wind. Welcome to our family's humble estate. Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be safely accessible during your stay. I wouldn't go wondering anywhere unless you. Va I wouldn't go wondering anywhere else if you value your value your li limbs, value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. If you know it's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, and the kitchen, and hallways, I guess. But only the hallways you need to use to get to those places. I'll show you around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. Uh, it's beautiful, lie. It's beautiful. Um, so you've really let this place go. I thought y'all were loaded. You can't afford to fix this dump. Uh, it's pr probably best to stay quiet because all like I I, I want to I don't want to be mean. And some of these like you know like I oh, let the place go. Thought you y'all were loaded. Um, and you know both lying. It's beautiful and it's beautiful like sincerely like. I mean, I guess it is beautiful in a, like a scary way, and I do like scary things. So I'm gonna say this, and she's gonna be like, "Har har, yeah, it's, it's dump or something." So I'll say that because so you live here also is like kind of loaded. It's beautiful, yeah. That's that's kind of what I expected. It is. The estate was the prized jewel of the region for a long time. It's quite a magnificent piece of architecture even now. Shall we take her tour? Follow me. You put your bags down and follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She delicately steps over holes and tears in the floor, and you do your best to trace her steps. Kitty. Kitty get pet, even though I'm allergic to cats, but this is a video game, and we can do wonderful things like pet the things we're allergic to. Uh, kitchen. On Wednesdays, a woman from town comes in and does the cleaning. Her name is Janie. I wouldn't recommend socializing with her. She'll talk your ear off. If you need any food, there's fixins for peanut butter and jelly. Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are off limits. Oh, and you can access the garden through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Tip, some explore options prevent you from taking others. Choose carefully. Okay, so we can explore. I feel nature reclaiming this place. Someone cleans this place. This place is nasty. It's nice. <laughs> Lie, it's perfect. Awesome. I love peanut butter and jelly. I want to talk about mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. What if I want ice cream? Let's just ask if uh, somewhere in town to buy food. I might want to eat something other than PB&J this week. Is there somewhere in town we can get groceries? 
Well, aren't you fancy? Yeah, there's a general store. There's also a diner. I usually order my food in bulk online, though, so I won't be going. I wouldn't be going with you. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just say sweet thanks. Good, cool, good talk. Um, I don't want to call the place nasty. There's basically two options to say the place is nasty. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the mystical one. I can feel a wild energy in this room, as if the natural world is creeping in to finally reclaim its territory. That's still kind of like saying, like, hey, this place is a dump, but I wanted to pick it. Okay, geez, I get it. You think it's messy. I'll tell Janie to be more thorough this week, but you should know there's only so much you can do with a country house this old. It's always going to be a little grimy and worn, unlike your sleek city apartments. If a little dirt bothers you, you're going to have a rough time this week. See, we, I don't want to call the place mean. And we lost our other options because they, they were all basically like, hey, this place is a dump, but I wanted to choose the magic one. Um, well, what if I want ice cream? You can buy some. Let me see. We, we, you already told us about the general store. So then you can buy yourself some at the general store. If you touch my stash, I will know and there will be consequences. I mean, just, I, I don't I don't want to be. Like, like I, I do like peanut butter and jelly, but let's let's just skip that one, because we're we're take, seriously taking her off. <laughs> uh, all right, what's next on the tour? Bathroom. Follow me. Great. It's been hours since I've gone. As the two of you leave the kitchen, you pass a tuxedo cat sitting on the countertop. Who's gonna get a little pet? Is that your cat? Pet the cat. Leave the cat be. Well, I'm gonna pass. I should ask. Like, hey, is it okay if I pet the cat? But I'm just gonna pet the cat. Yeah, before following the, the... That's about what I expected. Before following your cousin down the hall, you decide to pet the cat. She bites you hard and hisses violently. Tabitha sighs. As you've now learned, you should not pet Fru-Fru. If she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was a bad idea, but... I had to try. It's not something I can normally do in real life, so I, I had to take my shot, you know? You once again follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights it'll get easier to navigate these spaces, but for the time being, you feel lucky to have not fallen through the floors. Guest bathroom. Not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside. Do what you must. If you must. Let's see, there's a, there's a toothbrush and a wine glass that still has some wine in it. That's pretty, pretty good. Oh man, that... The, the, the um... Trash can, that, that's what you call those. Trash can, very full. A uh, lot of just stuff everywhere. I, my my bathroom counter kind of looks like this because it's just like, well, I'm going to use all this stuff, so why should I put it away? Which is a bad bad habit, but it's like, you know, why should I take it out every morning? I can just put it right there. Toilet looks like it's a little leaky, probably not great, and I don't want to know what happened to make this happen. Uh, it is a nasty wretched bathroom piles of junk sit untouched in the corners of the room and mystery stains paint the floor <laughs> this is the worst bathroom i've ever seen <laughs> i like this bathroom <laughs> i'm yeah what a nice bathroom no i wanted i wanted you to say verbatim like hey i like this bathroom glad you like it That's well. We, we we gotta go. So, oh no, bug skitter from the bowl. Mm, we got we gotta go though. Toilet is a toilet. Sure, it could be cleaner, but your business needs doing, and this is as good as place any. I don't agree with you, me. You're lying. The toilet should be clean. Uh, you do what you must and rejoin your cousin out in the hall. I'm, this is probably showing my hand a little little hard, but if I, I I wouldn't have used the bathroom in real life, so I probably shouldn't have used it in the game. Since I am me, I, I, I named me me. Next up, guest bedroom. Last stop on the tour. Follow me. You and Tabitha briefly return to the foyer before climbing the stairs and reaching the guest room. I don't know if foyer is spelled different than foyer, or if some people just say foyer to be fancy. I don't know a damn thing. The room smells old. Dust, mildew, wood rot, it has it all. A week of sleeping in this place might give you permanent lung damage. Uh, also, this lady doesn't have a dog in her in her uh, portrait, uh, and she looks very judgmental, like, these two could be related. 
she's tired, she's tired, one and the same. This is where you'll be staying. The linens are fresh. I had Janie wash them last week. I had to endure a half-hour rant about her kid to get her to do it, so you better be grateful. The closet is full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes up, but you can use the dresser. It should be empty. People will have died there, haven't they? Uh, what's with all the boxes? <laughs> this room is amazing. What a dump. Seems a little dusty. This room is nice. Thank you, Lie. Who used to sleep here? Uh, let's... I, I don't think she's going to respond well to that, especially since her mom died. So let's, let's just ask what's with the boxes. What's with all the boxes? Old family stuff. Offer to help move the boxes. Yeah, let's, let's just back off. She doesn't seem to... Great, thanks. She, she doesn't seem to like when we, we press her on things, so we probably should do that. Um, yeah, we, should, we should probably just, like, uh, kind of leave her alone. I, I know I've been just bugging her at every turn, but we probably should leave her alone. She seems like she'd appreciate that. I guess I'll get I'll start to get settled. Although, if we don't bug her, you know, then we never have a chance to, to crack open her tense and icy demeanor. Uh, and become friendly but also she just might appreciate that so maybe we should try and crack the, the the ice you know we're going to leave this ice unbroken follow me i'll take you back to the foyer so you can collect your belongings i can't really see what's on here but this table's not looking so hot this concludes our tour i'm afraid i must return to my duties so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day don't expect to see much of me uh, some dialogue options will open additional conversational paths some right away and others down the line Um, oh, is, is, I guess, yeah, she, she did say some shit about her mom. So let, let, let's look at her options before we pick it since we might only get to choose one. Uh, okay. So I think, I think, uh, the op, sorry, I didn't, I didn't read all the options. Um, the options are, I know you hate my mom, but stop taking it out on me using her keen eye. Where are you going? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. Uh, let her leave. Um, see, I don't think we should say this one because, um, like, sure, we, we've noticed it, but it's better that we noticed it and, like, okay, so she's mad about her mom, but, like, just being like, hey, 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 dude, because just don't be mad at me because you're mad at me. You know, that, that's probably not going to get anywhere. So I'm just going to, let's just, you know, ask one more time, just, you know, it's probably going to tick her off, but, you know, we should check. Hey, are you sure you're doing okay? You seem kind of... A See, that's not exactly the way that should, I, I should have worded, worded it. I'm fucking this up. Even even the scary scary picture guy knows I, I fucked it up. I'm fine. I just need to get back to work. Um, I won't keep you, but we, sh we should hang out when you get back. Let's, let's see if we can, you know, maybe get like one... Like, yeah, see, this doesn't seem too, too intrusive, you know? All right, I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. We'll see. There's a lot that needs to get done this week. Your cousin leaves through the front door, and now it's just you. You and this sprawling, decrepit estate. Um, a PBJ sounds great right now. Uh, settle into your room. Go straight into the forbidden wing of, of the estate. Uh, can we save the game? I didn't actually look at the controls. Uh, yeah, we can just hit escape, and then we can make a save. Cool. Well, we should probably go into town, but I'm going to go straight into the Forbidden Wings of the Estate and see, <laughs> see if we immediately die or can see some ghosts. Uh, if we go into town, we might meet some people we can smooch. But I want to I want to see I want to see some, some scary things. With Tabitha gone, there's no one stopping you from going into the Forbidden Wings of the Estate. You immediately try the, the nearest door only to be impeded by a lock. Okay, so we we couldn't do that. Um, yeah, let's go check out town, you know. We we've seen the tour. We were told not to go in there. We tried to go in there, couldn't, so let's just, let's just go into town. With your cousin gone, there's nothing for you to really do here. You drop your bags off in your room and head out to explore the town. Oh, I guess the town is closer. I figured town was probably by the bus stop that we drove. I guess I don't know how long a drive it was. Um, you know. Uh, if you had known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop, especially with how unhappy she seemed to see you. Yeah, we, we didn't do a great job uh befriending our cousin uh, if only you could wipe the slate between the two of you uh, clean and bury some of the tension though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that yeah that's that's the vibe i'm getting but you know 
then again, maybe it's the perfect time. Exactly. That's kind of the, that's kind of the point I was gonna make while also agreeing more so towards the other side. It's really pretty out here. Like I I love um trees. I love trees. End of statement. I love trees. Like the the color changing. Uh, I I live in Texas as it's you saw whenever I entered Texas as the town I'm from because you know the town of Texas. Um, you, you don't get a whole lot of tree color changing here. There's just not a, not a ton of trees. Uh, so it's it's always nice to see tree color change leaf finally you've made it back into town the hauler as that guy on the bus called it has probably seen better days it still has the feeling of an idyllic country town but the sidewalks are cracked and many of the storefronts are boarded up their windows dusty with age yeah what do we have here do we have any noticeable things we got a, we got a bookstore there's the general store we got town hall with some kind of minor guy oh yeah because it's a uh, a mining town it sounds like a chill breeze sweeps down the lane and you shudder suddenly feeling as if you're peering into the into a grave not the grave a grave oh dog gretchen come back quit bothering strangers sorry ma'am i'm gonna pet your dog even though i just learned you're not supposed to oh shit the mothman shirt that's cool um sorry about that gretchen can be very slippery when she wants to be she loves to get loose and cause havoc that is a slippery looking dog a pet the dog we, we learn you don't just pet dogs. I mean, that was a cat, but cats and dogs, they're basically the same creature. They're not. Uh, a pug, she's so cute. Uh, tell me more about this wonderful creature. I don't do well with dogs. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a dog? It looks like a marshmallow that you kind of melted and drew a face on. Uh, introduce yourself. Um, we're going to start with, tell me more about this wonderful creature. I am in love with this dog and wish to know everything to know. Everything there is to know about her. Look how sad the dog looks. <laughs> Gladly. Her favorite food is Cheese Whiz. Is Cheese Whiz really spelled with a Z? I never knew that. Her favorite face. Her favorite toy is an old sock I sewed to look like a squirrel. And her favorite show is Murder, She Wrote. Oh, Murder, She Wrote. That's, that's a fun one. Sometimes I'll leave it on in the background while I'm working to give her something to do. I always did that for my dogs. She'll actually sit in her little bed and watch it like a like an old lady in her programs. How'd you two meet? That's so cute. How'd you first meet her? My mom was a vet, and she used to visit the regional regional animal shelter on weekends to do checkups. When I was real young, I would go with her to volunteer, which really meant I'd do a little bit of manual labor and then play with the dogs for the rest of the day. One weekend, believe it or not, someone dropped off this little one-year-old pug that tried to outgrow its puppy stage. I think that's what it said. I'm not sure if there's a, a back. Uh, I guess I could once again hit escape and then um, uh, about. I think that's where you learn. No, about shows the versions and stuff. Help. Help tells the keys. They're like a back option. Uh, navigate, skips, toggle, page up. Okay, page up. Just because I, I think I read that wrong. Oh, now, now I just skipped that one too. Oh, no. My keyboard might not be working right. I, I spilled something on it. Some of the keys stopped working. Um, that was page up. Roll back to earlier dialogue. Maybe that's something that we can't do yet. Maybe that's like for um, once you've seen more stuff. Like once you've seen like more dialogue, like in visual novels, you can like skip stuff. Um, or maybe maybe one of these options will have. Oh yeah, here we go. The history. History. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I uh, dropped off this uh, little one-year-old pug that had outgrown its cute puppy stage. When I went to clean her kennel, she looked up at me with those big, watery, nervous eyes, wagging her entire butt, a good butt, entire butt wag is good, and whimpering like no one had ever loved her before. I couldn't not fall head over heels, you know. Look, I'm looking at this dog, and I'm already in love with her. My, do uh, my dogs, my parents were rugged mountain folk, so they weren't big on toy breeds, and at first they refused to even consider adopting poor Gretchen. But I kept visiting every week, and soon enough, they caved and let me take her home. My dad still wasn't too keen on her at first, but soon enough, he was taking her out on the trails like she was a hound dog. I feel bad that we haven't learned your name yet, but it was very important we talk about the, the dog. You can't but help but notice she's talking about her parents in the past tense. I guess everyone in this town is part of the dead mom club. Haha, <laughs> sorry, talking your ear off, but I can't help it. I could prattle on about Gretchen for hours. But where are my manners? I'm talking to you for this long without introducing myself. That is kind of my fault for being like, hey, tell me about your dog and everything about your dog um, and not you. Hi, Stella. Um, and she's Stella and she's got an S on her jacket, which is just, that's just good. That's, that's good synergy. 
it's not often I see a strange face <laughs> up here in the holler. I guess the holler is more uh, common of a name than that stranger would have led us to believe because they were a little untrustworthy. More than a little untrustworthy. Every every now and every now and then there's a new crop of coal, of coal folks, but you don't look dusty enough for that. You aren't in town for the funeral, are you? The Scarlet Funeral? <laughs> Offer her your boiled pea? I, I would, but I don't think anybody should be eating these boiled peanuts, so I'm just gonna, um, no, none of your business. We're, we're gonna introduce herself. Hi, I'm Zach. You must be Tabby's cousin, right? That's the only person I can think of that would come to town for the funeral. How's she, how's she holding up? Oh, wait, she say, like, uh, Tabby's cousin, so she knows about us, I guess. I guess maybe her and Tabby are friends. That's the only, yeah, um, to be honest, I've been a little worried about her. I'll hold up in that big house. I'm sorry, did you say Tabby? A darkness hangs over her. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep this normal. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, just hold on to, like, these mystical ones and just be like, yeah, 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 probably shouldn't say that. I don't think she's doing too well. She's been icy. But it feels like she's putting it on as a front. Look at the look at the dog looking down at the floor. There's probably a good little treat down there, or a bug, which is a treat for a dog. Uh, she's always been a little rough around the edges, to be honest. It's always been hard to tell if if that's just the way she is, or if she's putting on an act for her whole life. To think she's been up there in that old mansion all by herself. It'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even if she doesn't think so herself. Thanks for letting me know, by the way. Uh, are you two friends? Oh, we're not going to be mean to our cousin. Uh, how long have you known her? Are you two friends? Uh, she's not, she's really not worth your time. Uh, let, let's just ask if they're friends. Are you two friends? I was probably closer than most people have gotten to being, have gotten to being able to call her a friend. The school here is really small, so everyone had to at least get along with everyone else. She was a great ahead of me, but everyone knew her, especially since she's a scarlet. We wound up bonding a bit when we were both in the school's production of A Midsummer's Night's Dream, <clears throat> which I ran out of like mouth hydration for that. I was Puck and she was <laughs> Mustard Seed. Love. Good ol', good ol', uh... Shakespeare. I didn't have to think deeply about what Shakespeare's name was. I, I just knew that immediately. Definitely. I, I, I'm not owned. As you might have expected, she was a bit... She was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. But then she graduated, and that was that. Oh, if you just got into town, you must be starving. I was just on my way to the diner for a coffee. They got amazing biscuits, my treat. Well, yeah, of course we're going to follow her. I mean, that was our only option. Uh, we got we got pie. Let's see, bottomless coffee, Sunday pancakes special, uh, sausage biscuit special, <laughs> fancy city coffee, and Winnie's winning smile is free. Let me see some some. Oh, I was gonna say firefighters, but I guess these are, are coal miners. There's a little baby drawn eating some pancakes. Mom, guy, uh, I believe I believe this person is one of the romanceable options. Uh, the pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the diner. In contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate, the diner is filled with the comfort, the comforting den of human life. All of which grinds to a sudden halt. The patrons realize that a stranger has entered the establishment. Yeah, the, the patrons realize the the, the fry, fry cook, the sh chef guy does not care. Those eggs need attending to. So every, I don't think I don't think that person looked up either. Um, oh, even even babies surprised at us. I guess they really don't see a lot of strangers. Hi, everyone. I'm Zach. Uh, what are you looking at? Quietly signed at the nearest booth. Let, let's be friendly. Hi, everyone. I'm Zach. Just in town for the funeral. Pro mm, oh, well, they're, they're probably going to figure out that we're, we're funeral people uh, eventually. Before anyone can respond, you and Stella casually slide into the booth, pretending you didn't notice everyone uh, gawking at Gawking? Gawking? Gawking would say that word. Gawking at you like a side so show. Side show attraction. Oh, those those like little like squeaks like when you sit down on the these like chairs that always sound like a fart. It's, it's good good noise. Also a terrifying noise. 
Looks like your entrance was a little more dramatic than you were expecting, huh? Look how sad the pup. The puppy's always so sad. Folks around here just. Folks around here don't meet uh, many strangers as is, and you're the one related to. Well, let's just say you'll be the talk of the town in a while. This this guy. I mean, obviously, you know, bastard cop, but also looking at us with his like troll f face shaped face. I don't trust this man at all. She's right to keep an eye on him. Keen eye, as you settle into the booth, you can't help but pick up some of the murmurs of conversation around you. Uh, sure, well, well, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll listen in so we can maybe learn a bit more about the Scarlets. I pro I personally probably wouldn't care too much. Um, Stella Pets Gretchen will take a quick look around the diner, but we should probably learn a bit more about the, the Scarlets, you know. At, uh, at the counter, two policemen and a woman you assume to be the owner shoot s sidelong glances in your direction while whispering to each other. Vivian's kid. Never thought we'd actually meet him. Looks so much like her. Oh yes, those eyes are unmistakable. That haunted look. I've always thought it'd go away once she finally got out of this town, but I guess unhappiness was baked into her DNA. Mm. A young mother and her syrup-stained child sit at the table across from you. Mommy, who's that? Don't stare, Tulip. Oh, Tulip's a cute name. I've never actually heard that. That's Miss Tabitha's cousin. Oh, that's why he looks so sad. I mean, I I, I combine words from later. I would look sad too if I had Miss Tabitha as a cousin. Do you think Tabitha's cousin is mean too? I don't know. I'll find out next time I go visit Miss Tabitha. Are you going to help? Vis uh, are are you going to finish your pancakes? I don't know where the word help. Oh, I'm just combining sentences again. Are you gonna uh, finish your pancakes? They're almost cold, sweet pea, and we've got to get home to Daddy. Maybe this is Janie that we heard about. In the far back corner, a man sits alone at a small table, sipping coffee and reading a paper. Ah, why are the strangers who wander into town never gorgeous blonde ladies of an appropriate age? Why is it always coal boys, punks, and whippersnappers? Lastly, a group of coal miners sit hunched around, around the corner booth, redly scarfing down heaping plates of food. So that's the boss's cousin. There, there's that funeral this week, if I'm remembering right, for old Miss Pearl Lane. Pearl Lane? Pearl Lane? Perlane's probably how you say that, not Perlane. <laughs> May she rot in peace. Oh, let the lady rest, Lloyd. One shouldn't speak ill of the dead, no, ma no matter how foul they were, especially before they were so much as laying to rest. If you'd been around her in her heyday, you'd be speaking ill too, Tommy. Hey, he's right. Nastiest woman I've ever met. That Tabitha is a blessing compared to her. Curse the whole lot of them. May every scarlet burn in hell. That's enough of that. Well, at least we know... Um, Scar yeah, they got a big fancy house, uh, and there's a coal mine. I guess we could have assumed that they own the coal mine. I, I I probably should have assumed that, but I'm not very smart. Hey Stella, I went I went ahead and fixed fixed you up a coffee. Is it a fancy city coffee or the bottomless? They they gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella, probably the fancy city one. Ah shucks, thanks Avery. Can I have some sugar? Uh, already taken care of. I know how you like your coffee, drowned in cream and sugar. Sad puppy. Oh, and there's some bacon for the little lady. Gretchen Gretchen sniffs the bacon bacon and digs in. Bacon. That's I yeah. Yeah. You, you know where that sentence is about to go. Ugh. Oh, happy puppy is now that they finally got um the the bacon. Oh, there's multiple multiple frames with animation of the dog eating. Excellent. Very good. Anything for you? Uh we were <laughs> the boiled peanuts. I'm just gonna carry these boiled peanuts around for the entire game. Isn't bacon bad for duck? I'm not gonna point that out. How much for the coffee? Order a coffee. Order a biscuit. Order a biscuit and a coffee. I personally don't like coffee, so I'm gonna order a biscuit. I'll have a biscuit, please. I heard they were really good. We're getting a wink because we remember the biscuits were good. Best in the country or county? I, I always mess those up because I'm dumb. Oh, and I'm a uh, sorry for your loss. Thank you, Avery. Before you have the chance to respond, they're gone. Oh man, it's the, 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 the bacon's gone and now there's like drool on the plate. That's so good. Glad you took my advice with the biscuit. You won't regret it. I would never regret a biscuit. Anyway, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? That gives you quite a bit of time to slum around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. There's always the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyways. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Avery's throwing a party Saturday night, so that's a fun thing to look forward to. And there's the there's the weekly Sunday potluck. That should be right after the funeral, too, so it'll be a special occasion. Is that like a church thing? <laughs> cool. Let's just ask if it's a church thing, why not? 
Is the potluck a church thing? Would it be weird for me to come if I'm not a member? No, no, the Sunday thing is coincidental. It's actually hosted by the library. Um, not too many people go to the church around here, if I'm being honest. A non-religious community in the rural south. Oh, yeah, I actually have no idea where uh, Scarlet uh, Hollow was supposed to be. I get that. That's a shame. Hell yeah, religion sucks. We'll just, we'll just say I get that. I get that. I'm not much of a church going. I'm not much of a church going persuasion myself. I love when people say persuasion. It's so good. And I said it there, so that was me being really smart and not the, the uh, people writing the game doing a good job or anything. You know. Same for me. Whatever feeling some folks got in church, I think that must be the feeling I get when I look up the sky on a night hike. A feeling of peace and wholeness. But that's not to say we're a town of heathens or anything like that. There are plenty of God-fearing folks around. They just aren't fans of the church. Some Silent Hill stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it happens. Well, the building's fine, and but the pastor's another story. There's just something a little off about that guy. You'll get what I mean if you ever meet him. Always going on about gyromancy. Gyromancy, by the way, is is telling the future by spinning around really fast. And like when you fall over, like the ideas you get is like the the fortune. Very very funny thing to end up in Silent Hill and kind of just be like, oh yes, the gyromancy. Um, I don't know why, but gyromancy always sticks out to me in Silent Hill one. And unfortunately, you probably will. Uh, yeah, the the pastor. Going back to the pastor, not Silent Hill. Anyway, those are the big events I can think of. Uh, as for the day today, any ideas how you want to kill time for the rest of the week? Do you have something in mind? <laughs> What's it to you? No clue. I'm sure I'll be able to occupy it. Um, I'll probably just do what I can to support Tabitha through th this. Um, we should support Tabitha through this, but also she doesn't really like us. So let's ask what she has in mind. Something telling me that's a loaded question. You got something in mind. <laughs> was I being that obvious? My job means I spend a lot of time in the woods with a camera, and it's always better when someone is there too. Before Stella can finish, that is just a single... I did order a biscuit, I guess. <laughs> just a, the small plate for one biscuit. That, I don't know why that made me laugh. Uh, the concept of a small plate made me laugh, even though... Spoilers, I own several small plates myself. Before Stella can finish, Avery returns, biscuit in tow. Hey, I, I don't know. I saw hey, and then I immediately started to think of the Sonic 06. Hey, sorry. I'm sorry for haying. Hey, Winnie wanted to give you a biscuit on the house. She sends her condolences. Thanks. It looks great. You didn't have to do that. Oh, what do I, let's just be like, oh, you didn't have to do that, you know? Oh, you didn't have to do that. It looks great. No worries. Hope you enjoy it. Mystical, you pick up the biscuit. It's delicate and fluffy. It nearly crumbles at your touch. Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. You don't even need to taste it to know that it is good. Divinity given buttery form. <laughs> and then we're just going to do the scene from uh, from Deadly Premonition of, oh, this is a good biscuit. Uh, you take a bite. It melts in your mouth as if it was nothing but butter suspended in a thin matrix of dough. Truly, this is a perfect biscuit. Whoa. Lie, I've had better. This is the best biscuit I've ever had, but that's not saying. I'm just going to say, well, whoa, this is a really good biscuit. Wow. I'm so glad you like it. Avery lingers at the table for a moment. So, has Stella mentioned that she's famous? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Avery, I'm not famous. Cute dog, though. Look, if you're going to go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm going to. Oh, if you're, if you're not going to go. If you're not going to go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm going to do it for you. I was like, that, that doesn't make sense. If she's tooting her own horn, why are you need it? And I was like, oh, I missed a word. That's why. Stella sighs. I'm a YouTuber. Hi, Stella. Wait, what? What kind of videos do you do? Oh, okay is actually kind of the perfect response to that. Uh, wow, that's rad. Uh, how does that make, uh, make you money? It doesn't. That's the answer. Ugh, you and everyone else. Yeah, same. Um, oh, okay is the perfect answer, but we're being friendly and I don't want to just like if, if someone's like I'm a youtuber to me like she obviously didn't want to tell us she did mention the she mentioned the, the going into the woods with the camera So I am actually very interested in the videos Cool, what kind of videos do you do? She hunts cryptids. She's got Mothman on her shirt She's searching for the Mothman in the south. I Think don't think that Mothman Lee I, well, I think there's been like Mothman sightings like in South America, actually, now that I think about it. I, I, I don't remember a damn thing. It doesn't matter. 
You should really check out her channel, Zach. It's amazing. I think the best video to start off, uh, start with would be the river one. Not the lake, but, you know, the controversial one. Oh, yeah, you always want to start with the controversial video. Oh, yeah, the Catawba... Catawba... Catawba. That W was throwing me for it. Catawba River Runner. I didn't expect much of uh, that outing at the time, but it would... But it wound up being my most popular video by far. So the River Runner is a cryptid that's only known from a single sighting. Two Boy Scouts thought they saw something big and weird uh, in the Catawba River. And that's all I had to go on. But then I wound up catching this on camera. Oh boy. We can see the likes and dislikes. I mean, there's no numbers there. Unfortunately, we can't see... Oh, actually, wait. Hidden Ow Appalachia? I always forget how you're supposed to pronounce Appalachia. Um, I wonder. I wonder if they made like a like a video for like YouTube. Like that would be like doing way too much like effort, but that'd be really cool. Oh, holler, holler, um, plate, plate. Picayune? I have no clue what Picayune means. Uh, but I guess holler is a more official name than I was expecting it to be. What are these other videos? Haunted ice cream parlor, scared in the woods, uh, loft, oh, lo-fi, uh, chill beats to chill instead too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shows you a clip of something on the river. Some folks said it was a beaver, but if that was the case, it'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I've seen. I also had people saying it was a dog or even a capybara that must have escaped from a local wildlife sanctuary. I'm still not sure what it was, but I'm the one who saw the thing with my own two eyes. Oh, that looks like a mountain lion. <laughs> I see the, the keen eye like we know it's a mountain lion, but I personally enjoy uh, haunted BS. So, um, oh, yeah, it's totally a dog or a beaver. Hold on. Uh, whatever it is, you should leave it alone. I don't believe in cryptids. Uh, it's fun to believe. That's an honest to God cryptid there. That's an honest to goodness cryptid right there. No way that's a beaver or a dog. And there's no way a capybara would be swimming in the river. Uh, oh, no, now North Carolina. That's where we are. Okay. Like I said, I live in Texas. So like my perspective perspective of where it counts as southern is way like fucked um but yeah yeah N north carolina typically considered part of the south unless there's some sort of north american colony colony of capybaras in Appal appalachia which i'm pretty sure i'm saying wrong but that would still count as a cryptid wouldn't it yeah, until someone catches a capybara up here, <laughs> that would still count as a cryptid by most standards. Avery's face is just like uh, mm, mm. <laughs> My comment section went nuts for this footage. Uh, went nuts for this footage, and from there, it spread to Twitter pretty fast. There were polls for days. I even had actual experts weighing in. It was all a really cool experience, and it meant the video did some pretty great numbers. Personally, I'm a fan of the capybara theory. Oh, it's swapped to Avery. I'm, I should really read the name. <laughs> Uh, sure, it's not like any local sanctuaries were missing one, but there's always people keeping exotic animals as pets. I mean, we know it's a, a mountain lion because we have the keen eye, but you know, we're we're enjoying the moment. Kind of a sewer gator type situation. Haha, <laughs> exactly. Some exotic pet owner set it free, and now it will forever roam the Kata the Kataba <laughs> will forever roam the Kataba, confusing Boy Scouts and YouTube commenters for years to come. So, speaking of things to do around town, I was actually planning on filming this week's video tonight. I was wondering if you'd want to come along. I absolutely I wanna see a scary thing! It's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy one this week. We wouldn't even have to camp anywhere. I'm just going to go after the... Wait, no spoilers. Whoops, sorry, Avery. It's okay. I should probably get back to it instead of standing around and chatting with friends. I'll see y'all see y'all around. Now that the coast is clear, I'm going to go after Skunk Ape. I have no clue what's... Yeah, what is Skunk Ape? Isn't that just worse Bigfoot? What's... Yeah, what's Skunk Ape? Skunk, <clears throat> skunk Ape. I've never heard of that. It's like a Bigfoot, but smellier. Oh, so it is just a worse Bigfoot. Gotcha. Uh, most skump... Sk I don't know why I'm saying skump ape. Skunk ape sightings are from Florida. But while I was doing some research for last uh, week's video, I came across a report where a lady from a town over claimed to have seen one on her deck playing tug of war with her dog. Yeah, so this is interesting. I was thinking about, like, if she does, like, cryptid YouTube stuff. She's kind of bound to, like, what's in the area. Can't really, like, go places. But I guess in North Carolina, you're close enough to go... Uh, uh, West Virginia is where the Mothman's, like, the bridge thing with Jake happened, I think. Um, but I don't know anything, so. And as I leave no stone unturned, I decided it was worth investigating. The puppy's still so sad. Get the puppy more bacon, even though that's bad for dogs. According to the game, I don't, I don't know anything. Uh, so what do you say? Want to tag along? 
Hold the camera for me while I narrate against a darkening sky, that sort of thing. That depends. Will Gretchen be there? Absolutely. Against my better judgment? Yes. Are you nuts? It's not like I have anything else going on. No, remain silent. Um, I mean, we could we could say this one, like being like, yeah, of course I'm going to come. But, you know, absolutely. I want to see a scary thing. I would love to come along. That's great. It's been a while since I'd had, I've had anyone besides Gretchen out there with me. This is going to be a lot of fun. I've actually started the channel with a couple buddies of mine back in middle school, so it's kind of like a blast from the past. Me and uh, Kin Kanika, I've, I've never seen that name before, I'm, I apologize, uh, and Reese. Me and Kanika and Reese running around in the woods, flipping over rocks and bothering salamanders. Our videos were terrible, but we had a lot of fun and that's all that mattered to us. You know, that gets me thinking. I wonder if they'd be down to come along with us. Get the old game back together, though I guess Kanika has to close out the general store tonight so i'm pretty sure she, that uh, she's a no-go but reese i think there's a decent chance we could get him to come out of his hidey hole if he's up to, for it do you mind if i make a quick call yeah i didn't respond reese dude what's up feels like it's been forever oh man sorry to hear that do you want me to come by or okay if you're really sure but if you change your mind oh i was just calling if you wanted to come out to the woods tonight i met somebody cool in town today He's Tabitha's cousin. I know. Yeah, just here for the week. Anyway, we're going to look for Skunk Ape. We could take the easier trails if that would help. Dang, man, that sounds awful. I hope you take it easy tonight. I'll swing by sometime this week and uh, and we can have a more low-key hang. How's that? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'll bring him. Talk to you soon. Bye, bud. Looks like it's just you and me, pal. Did he ask you to bring me to his house? Um, it sounds like it. Uh, I mean, we could... Well, yeah, I mean, we don't really know him, so saying, like, is he okay is probably a little intrusive. Let's just ask if she's okay. Are you okay? Me? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm more worried about Reese. He's had a lot going on in the past, gosh, 10 years or so, but I feel like it's gotten a lot worse recently. I can't remember the last time I saw him leave his house. Oh, well. It's not my place to talk about, really. I just got a little excited thinking about having him along again. He's hilarious. You'd love him. We should swing by his place sometime this week. Uh, sure. That, that'd be nice. I don't really know them, but, you know. I We really should, like, hang out with Tabitha at some point. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We, we, we got a full week. We'll, we'll do it. That'd be nice. I'd love to meet your friends. Awesome. I'll make it happen. He's definitely the trickier one to meet. Kanika is much easier to track down since she's at the general store basically every day. But friendship can wait. We've got a skunk ape day. Skunk, mm, skunk ape is hard to say. So we should probably head out if we want to make it up to the mountains before it's too dark. Come on, let's blow this popsicle stand. You pause before getting up. Maybe it's time to make a good first impression. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. We're going to leave a generous tip. Don't leave a tip. You didn't even spend any money. That's, you always leave a generous tip. Regardless. You know it's a bit. Uh, you reach into your pocket and pull out a crumpled five dollar bill. You know it's a bit m more than one would expect to get from such a short dining experience. But you might as well share the wealth while you've got it. You smooth out the bill before placing it on the table inconspicuously. Oh, that's awesome of you, Avery. Will appreciate that, I'm sure. Stella turns to leave the diner, uh, with you following close behind. See, it's easy because I don't I don't have any clue how much money we have, so it's easy to to tip. But I also am a big tipper because I just I like to I like to to, to, to help. I like to help. Look at a puppy. Oh, does puppy have um like one of those uh, vests that you're supposed to use, like instead of collars, because like if you use like the collar and you attach the leash to that, like you choke the dog. But the vest is like a better thing apparently. I I don't know. I only learned about that like after I stopped having dogs, unfortunately. It hadn't been very cold when you first arrived in, t uh, in town, but the sun dips closer and closer uh, to the horizon. A chill descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. Um, also, just something I wanted to mention. Uh, I, um, the uh, funerals on Sunday, the episode one, uh, it, like the title perhaps was Monday. I'm not sure if that was the title or just saying that it was, in fact, Monday. So perhaps... Um, this episode contains all of Monday, and then you you uh, we would move on in episode two to Tuesday. Not not entirely sure, but I just wanted to say that just because I've been thinking about that. You're in a new place, far from civilization. There's civilization down there. That, that's not fair. Uh, and the people you know, following someone you just met into a dark forest in search of monsters. Yeah, quarantine's got us doing weird things when we get out. You feel a sense of foreboding. Poppy turned around. 
more alive than you've been in years. Strangely calm, tense, unsettled. Um, I enjoy walking through dark forests. It's something I did a lot uh, in my youth. Um, so I, I actually feel pretty calm. But we know mystically that there's a sense of foreboding. But let's let's just stay calm. You know, you feel we. I probably shouldn't. I should probably pick the the foreboding because that means mystically we're sensing it. And by staying calm, I've probably probably messed up like i mean you know not messed up permanently because obviously that could be a choice that you possibly might not have but i probably should have picked it so i could have been like oh there's something wrong i should stay alert you know you feel strangely calm the setting sun paints in beautiful colors in the sky fresh air fills your lungs and pleasant songs of crickets trill around you as night descends this is where you're supposed to be with stella by your side a sweet smile on her face and gretchen plodding along in front in front without a care in the world Oh, puppy, <laughs> I'm gonna get getting excited about the stupid dog. Um, the the wonderful dog who is stupid. You know how dogs are. Gotta love this brisk fall weather. This past summer was the hottest on record since last year, at least. You know how it is it's, it's, these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. Yeah, it's how it's how uh, uh, climate change works. Um, it's just nice to feel chill in the air and see the leaves change like norm like normalcy is restored if only for a moment sorry if that was a bit of a bummer we should talk about something more fun like skunk apes are you really uh, expecting to find anything do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids like ghosts or whatnot uh, that's actually what i'm probably going to ask has anything bad ever happened on these hikes oh puppy turned red uh what's the weirdest thing you've seen in these woods um i kind of want to ask about the weirdest thing but uh the answer to this is probably yes. Yeah. So let's just jump to tell me about the weirdest thing you've seen, just in case we only get one, you know? What's the weirdest thing you've seen in these woods? Other than anything cryptid related, of course. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always the deer. I saw, there's the deer I saw stealing baby birds out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. But I think most people know about that these days. Uh, really? I, I didn't know that deer, I thought deer were, uh, um, Herbivores. I was trying to remember the word vegetarian for animals. I'm so dumb. Um, I've seen tons of videos of other deer doing it, so I'm not sure if it counts as weird anymore. Oh, tetanus, tetanus lake? That's definitely the weirdest. It was uh, it was a five foot deep, thirty foot wide pile of old can oh that's why uh, old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing on it, so you could barely tell uh, it was there until you stepped on it. It was practically solid ground with how much it had been a. Uh, compressed but you could still fall through if you weren't c careful hence the name B uh, better be up on your shots if you want to mess around and hit and there it was all stuff from the 50s too which was super neat i salvaged a few bottles that that i keep on my dresser as a little souvenir uh let's ask about ghosts and shit do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids you know like ghosts demons werewolves that sort of thing yeah for sure i used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff i never had much luck though especially when it came to ghosts Back when I first started doing solo videos, I'd go into all sorts of old abandoned bu buildings, hoping I'd stumble across some sort of activity. Um, but nothing ever happened. It was just always me and my camera in an old house getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. When all's said and done, I've been a lot luckier with cryptids. I want to believe in ghosts so bad, and I can't rule out the possibility they really are true hauntings out there, but if there are, I sure as heck haven't seen any myself. Werewolves, I kind of lumped in with cryptids, that's fair. I'd be shocked if they uh, were actually... I'd be shocked if there were actually were people out there who turned into animals, but a werewolf lore lines up uh, pretty well with the, the great beast genre of cryptid. As for demons, I don't know. I honestly don't even want to consider the possibility that they exist because if they really are out there, geez, a lot of folks are doomed to an eternity of flames. So let's hope all that that's just bunk. Am I right? What about aliens? What do you think about aliens? Don't even get me started. Did you see the UFO videos the government declassified? Aliens are definitely real, and they absolutely have visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. You just don't see me hunting aliens, because we know they're real. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, there are things beyond our realm, but I wouldn't call them aliens. <laughs> see, that's just what the government wants you to think. Um... I don't. I don't want to diss aliens, but maybe we. Sh I, I, I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, I don't want to diss aliens, but let's let's like dive further into being like let's talk about like dimensional beings and shit. There exist things beyond our realm, but I wouldn't call them aliens. 
Everything that exists in the universe is cut from the same cloth one way or another. To call something an alien is to simply imply that it is something else. Something that doesn't belong. So it sounds like I've just talked around in circles to saying, yeah, they're aliens, you know? Whoa, haha! <laughs> You've got to meet my friend Kanika's mom. You two would get along. Um... Let's, let's move on. I don't want to talk about bad stuff ha happening on the hike, especially with poor little Gretchen over there. Let's move on. Did you hear that? Oh, it's just a man with a gun, which is probably about the scariest thing that we could have found. Oh, calm down, Gretchen, you old mutt. Oh, okay. Old man with the gun. Uh, his pet, pet, oh, look, how, look how happy Gretchen looks. Uh, like, is his hat like the devils or something? Same to you, Stella. You're always jumping at nothing, girl. Phew, sorry at being jumpy, Duke. I thought you were some creature of darkness. Nah, girly, just old Duke. Now what the hell are you looking for way out here, skunk ape? Sorry, I asked. And who's this you've suckered into coming with you? Wait a tick. You aren't. Is that? Yep. I see. Welcome to the holler. My condolences. I'll keep you in my prayers. Another stranger. Another opportunity for a salty introduction. Oh, well, well now we've 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 hit. Mm, I'm. This is this is why you're able to save video games. I want to keep these boiled peanuts for the rest of the game, but I ha I have to just try it at least once. You hold out the slippery bag in front of Duke. It's grown quite fragrant, fragrant since you put it in your rucksack, like the scent of old beer. But you're pretty sure that's what it's supposed to smell like. Bowl peanuts from your backpack? No, I'm set. I'm all set, thank you. So we get to keep the peanuts. Hopefully, um, hopefully, uh, you know, we we kept them. So hopefully the, the option is still there to present them every once in a while. In fact, I, I just want to be so sure that I always have that option that I'm going to go back and keep the peanuts to herself. You once again remember the dripping bag of boiled peanuts you have on your person and briefly consider offering them to Duke before realizing that it would probably be more of an insult than anything else. See, you keep them hidden away. It's, it's smart that we didn't do that. Now both of y'all head back to town, you hear? It's best you steer well clear of this area tonight. I'm out dealing with my own critter, and it won't be too appreciative if a couple fools with a camera scare away the more sensitive wildlife. What are you hunting tonight? Something tall and hairy. Oh, wait. I, I saw his face change. I should. I really need to read the name. Something tall and hairy? Something musky? You see anything like that recently? Oh, she whipped out the camera. Wouldn't you like to know? You never could stay in your business, Stella Richmond. Put that damned camera down. Oh, come on, Duke. Maybe I could help you. Help you out. I'm pretty good at tracking. You know I learned from the best. That you did, but I have yet to see a shred of proof that you listen to any of it. <laughs> the way you tromp around the woods at night yelling about Chuckabungus or what have you. Well, you gotta yell at the Chuckabungus to get them to come out. Everybody knows that about Chuckabungus. Something's been getting at my chickens. I've lost three this week and can't afford to lose any more than that. Close your ears, baby. Don't 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 listen to the man. You're basically the same as a chicken. I don't I don't want I don't want Gretchen hearing this. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But, huh, I wonder if Skunk Ape has a taste for chicken. Now see, this is why I don't come to you about these sorts of things. Ain't It ain't no Skunk Ape, whatever the hell that is. I know exactly what it is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Oh, Duke, you don't think it's... I do, actually. It's those damned mountain lions. They're out there, Stella. Mountain lions are, are pretty scary. Uh, I don't care what your little investigation turned up. You haven't been out in these woods as, as long as I have. These sons of bitches are sneaky. Of course, you wouldn't find uh, you wouldn't find any in one night of tracking. And I know for a fact that that <clears throat> I know for a fact that's what's been getting at my chickens. I I couldn't be it couldn't be anything else. I couldn't be anything else either. I am Duke forever. I'm telling you, man, mountain lions are extinct in these parts. There hasn't been an actual sighting since the 1990s, and even those were iffy. I can't believe you go out there on your YouTube saying some river monster spotted a couple school-age boy scouts. Uh, uh, is that some river monster spotted by a couple school-age boy scouts has been 100% confirmed, yet Appalachian cougars are some sort of far-fetched fantasy made up by geezers like me. It, it was actually a mountain lion, but I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. You made me look like a fool. I have read those comments uh, people were posting on your video. They were calling me all kinds of names just for seeing things with my own eyes. 
that I know to be true. I'm sorry, Duke. I didn't mean to sick anyone on you. It's just, I, I just don't think it's possible. You'll eat those words when I'm carrying a mountain lion corpse out of these woods at dawn. And if you two don't want a face full of buckshot, I, rec or I suggest you run home and stay out of the woods tonight. I don't think this ends well for you. But we were here first. What? If you find a mountain lion, don't kill it. Right on, Duke. Kill the mountain lion. Can't you just buy more chickens? Um, let's use our mystical sight. Sure. This probably isn't going to go well, but let's let's do it. I don't think this ends well for you. Huh. How's you know? I go hunting in these woods all the time. Night, day, uh, possums, bears. It doesn't make a difference. I always... The O in possum always scares me. It frightens me. Even a mountain lion wouldn't stand a chance against the ingenuity of man here. Unless it's not a mountain lion. Oh, don't you get started again. If your daddy could hear you now going on about ghouls and goblins, you're always talking about that game. I, I always forget the order of the game, so sorry. I'm sorry for, for gaming reference. Using what he taught you to run around these woods like some kind of paranormal investigator. Do you want that to be his legacy, girl? And besides, you know my boy Bo and me are are headed down to the state fair to show off Big Betty this weekend. We'll be gone days, and the chicken coop might uh, might as well have a big all-you-can-eat sign on it if we don't nip this thing in the bud tonight. You know how I feel about my chickens. I couldn't take it if I lost any more of the poor little ladies. And you know I have to put out a video by tomorrow evening. If I miss an update, I might lose my new sponsor, and who knows what that'll mean for my career. Um... Hmm... Let's let's be spooky. Let's let's do it. One of us is going to die tonight. I can feel it. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to threaten me? <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. A weird bad feeling. Whoa, are you psychic or something? Science points a yes. <laughs> My reply is no. Maybe. Ask again later. Of course, it was going to be asking him later. Wink! Oh, right, right. When we're in a more private place... Oh, shit. I guess that went well with her, I guess. Uh, I get you. Ah, hush, both of yous. You're just trying to unsettle me, so I let you all go off in the woods to film your little video. Um, Zach, I think you freaked out Duke <laughs> out enough for, for one evening. Maybe we should leave the poor man to, on his wild goose chase. I probably shouldn't have said it that, but we have mystical powers. We got to use them. I am not freaked out by your friend's theatrics, but if if it gets out, but if it gets you out of my hair, sure, I'm greatly disturbed. Now run along home and stay out of the trouble. Well, we're not running home. We got a skunk ape to find. You and Stella return to the trail. She carefully looks back the way you came. Okay, the coast is clear. There's no way we're letting Duke edge us out that easily. Uh, come on, I know a trail that'll let us get around him. Uh, yes, I knew you wouldn't give up on the hunt. Lead the way. Um, oh no, are we actually? We weren't actually headed back to town. Are you sure you don't want to like watch a movie instead? No way, not with Duke and his shotgun out there waiting to blow our heads off. See, this is probably like the smart like one. Like, but she's got a sponsor. She has to upload by tomorrow. Lead the way. And trust me, we don't have anything to worry about from old Duke or his shotgun. I've gone, out, I've gone out hunting with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through trees when he walks. Even if we do cross paths, he, we'll hear him long before he catches wind of us. The trail's just up this way. Let's go. See, now that's worrying because if we know he's there and we try to hide and then he's like, aha, I see a mountain lion and then we get shot, that'd, that'd be bad. All right, this looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? She hands you the camera and takes position. She hold, she hold Gretchen while hell yeah, you got to get Gretchen into the videos. Oh shit, it's a uh, 2022. I did not notice that as part of the uh, the the game. Ahem, uh, I would you'd have to be 2022 because of y y y you know that be being outside and yeah yeah okay. Ahem, as night falls, my new assistant, the mysterious Zach, and I find ourselves on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where we'll begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent skunk ape. Though mostly encountered in Florida, this possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southeastern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. Here's hoping we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay searching, Stellars. Oh, Stellars, that's a good name for like your, your audience. Uh, I can take that camera off your hands for now. We'll be able to start the tracking scenes uh, once the sun sets all the way. All right, let's see something scary. Let's see a big stinky man. 
Uh, in the meantime, we get to take in all the beautiful scenery. It's gorgeous out here, don't you think? There's something wrong here. Um, I probably should, but it's breathtaking. Um, actually, I haven't been... Uh, okay, uh, there's something wrong here. It's breathtaking. I actually haven't been looking. Being this far from civilization stresses me out. I've seen better. Not a fan of the bugs. Um, I do... Uh, like. Look, there's some pretty stars and stuff. I feel like we should... Look, we know one of us is going to die out here, so maybe... Maybe we should, uh, I like, I, I like, I want to agree with you, but there, 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 there's something wrong in the air. It feels oppressive, dark. Yeah. That's, that's kind of probably the face I'd make if, if someone just kind of said that when you were like, Hey, the trees are nice, right? Hmm. You don't happen to mean stinky. Do you, do you think that you're smelling the skunk ape? No, no. More like a storm is coming. No, no. Something metaphorically uh, oppressive and dark. Hmm. Yep. That's gotta be the skunk ape. Uh, let's, let's say the storm thing, I guess. No, no, more like a storm is coming. Don't worry, I've checked the weather this morning, and we're in for beautiful cloud... Uh, I should probably should have assumed. Yeah, she would be like, yeah, the weather. It's the perfect time to take a hike. Unless you mean a metaphorical storm. I don't think the weather radar picks up on those. But either way, my gut usually warns me if I'm about to run into trouble, and I feel a-okay. I mean, she is the expert. She lives here. Your quiet moment with Stella is broken by the loud, per percussive snort. The, the 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 quiet moment that I didn't talk through. I'm so sorry. What was that? Oh no, the skunk ape has found us. Is Duke back with the? It's Duke back with his shotgun. Run! Death has come for me at last. Goodbye, cruel world. Um, it's probably best to just be you know. It, it's it's a basic answer, but what was that? Haha, <laughs> no need to panic. Just the sound deer make when they want you want to warn the rest of their herd about big scary predators like us. Let's check it out. See the deer. It's just gonna be some deer. Look, look how scared the poor baby is. She's also scared too. Uh, as you as you and Stella hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods, she reaches for her flashlight. Oh, it was a deer, you're right. A single deer remains, staring down the light of Stella's flashlight while Gretchen whines and pulls at her harness. And then it ran away. Just a totally normal deer. <laughs> is that like a... What is that noise? Is that like the deer? Is that supposed to be Gretchen? Uh, it sounds kind of like a squirrel. Um, I can do an amazing squirrel impression. Don't know how it'll sound on, on the into the mic, but I'm going to do it anyways and hope for the best. I learned how to do that in middle school, and uh, I haven't done that in like a year. But I can still do it, I guess. Jeez, Gretchen, calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. She cannot handle deer. When she gets like that, I usually have to pick her up and hold her. She has a bad habit of slipping her slipping her harness when she wants to go after something. You're too much of a potato. Yeah, that is absolutely a potato. I'm sorry I called you a marshmallow. You're definitely more potato. And they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? There was something wrong with that deer. Why do you bring her with you? Uh, well, if I got my heart rate, I'm ready. I'm ready for the hunt. Yeah, let's, uh, I, I, I know why she has Gretchen with her. We don't need to ask. And I don't want to be like, why do you bring her with you? You know, because like obviously you want to bring your your puppo or, along. Um, yeah, there's something wrong with that deer. Did you see its face? Now you mentioned yeah. Now mm, some a little. I mean, I guess that was supposed to happen quicker, but because I read, um, because like once I clicked it, like turned a, 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 around, so it probably had like. You know, like a moment of deer in the headlights and then ran away. It probably, you know, in, in like real real time, that was probably a lot faster is what I'm trying to say. I bet it was an ab abscess. I forget how you say that. Maybe a tumor. It's not like wild animals can get taken care of, so they just get bigger and bigger. Poor thing. There's not much we can do about it. Well, my, my heart rate's up. Back to the hunt. Uh, that's got my heart rate up, so I, I'm so ready for the hunt. Same for me. How about we take a quick snack break to fuel up, then we get right into the night's activities. I've got all the best trail snacks. We got apricot. We got trail mix with extra M&Ms. I can't see what these are, but they look like dried fruit of some kind. Well, I mean, it has a fruit on there, so that's what I'm assuming. But they look more like beans, like maybe like an edamame. But I don't think... Oh, actually, I see, I see an ame, but I also think that's an S, so it's hard to say. Uh, also, what the hell are those? Cookie? Oh, dog treats. That's what those are. I was like, those are weird looking cookies. Probably dog treats though. As you settle down, Stella breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. Oh, hell yes. We get to, uh, uh, there's a snack bar that I, I can't see. Um, uh, dried apricots. 
uh, take the sesame st oh sesame sticks that's what those are that makes sense um the the extra m ms definitely seems like she probably picked that for herself uh, i want the sesame sticks handful of sesame sticks ah oh, the one snack i didn't make my oh damn it no oh i messed up <laughs> i should like i was thinking like apricots sound good um like like a dried apricot but uh man <laughs> wrong i was just like oh a sesame stick that does sound good i didn't pick the trail mix because like the exclamation point the extra m ms i was like that she definitely wanted that for herself she didn't know we were gonna be here tonight uh ah uh, the one snack i didn't make myself i was hoping to wow you with my cooking skills but i guess i'll have to wait for some other time ne nevertheless a delightfully tasty choice the chips of the trek the, the trekking tail the hiking trail some would say chips are the chips of the hiking trail, but only a fool would bring such a delicate, space-consuming snack in their pack uh, when that space could fit another bottle of water or more snacks. Damn. That's how it be sometimes. You pick the wrong answer, and your last save was a while ago, so you just gotta live with it. Uh, the, the very important snack choice. Um, you and Stella uh, settle down on Overlook, snacks in hand, as the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. So tell me. <laughs> tell me what it's like in Texas. Do you have a house, an apartment? Do you live with family, roommates, pets? Do you go to school on a horse? How often do you say yeehaw? I wish I wish I like had it in my brain enough to say howdy and yeehaw more. Great words. Tell me what it's like to be Zach. I live alone in a digi studio. Oh, well, that one's just true. <laughs> I live in a closet in a house with 10 roommates. I live in a doorless basement that floods whenever it rains. I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a 12 by 12 shed in someone's yard. I live in an internet cafe. I'm just, this one's just true. I live alone in a ding, dingy studio apartment and I love it. And it's a mist bag and I hate it. I'm just going to tell the truth. Sorry if this is too real and I hate it. At first, it was nice. It was kind of nice to finally have space that was just mine, but now it just feels cramped. It's like I'm stuck in a closet alone, and no one can come let me out because I chose this for myself. And as far as they know, I'm happy being here. Oh no, I've merged with the game. The light flicker. Oh, my. Oh, actually, a lot of my lights are out. Oh no, the light flickers. The toilet's constantly getting backed up because the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat's litter. That one doesn't happen because I live on the ta the, the top floor. Um, it smells like cigarettes for some reason. That one, also not true. Um, it does smell like weed from time to time, though. Not my fault. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know. And it's home to an extremely uh, durable population of roaches. It's the pits. The worst. Just awful. Yikes! Have you tried looking for a different place? Or maybe finding a roommate? There's gotta be a better apartment. <laughs> There's gotta be a better apartment than that in a big city like Texas. It's a very big damn city thought about finding roommates i've had enough uh, bad roommates for a lifetime and this is cheap i've been saving up for something better oh i hear you i've been saving up for something better oh yeah good for you so what do you do for a living i build programmatic ads for a company that nobody's ever heard of i sell arts and craft on etsy i'm a first year associate at a big law law firm i'm a streamer uh i'm a student i'm a teacher i'm in the service industry um i i i do web development so but programmatic ad sounds like uh that sounds like business bullshit and i don't want to say business bullshit um arts and crafts on etsy i i i'd like to do arts and crafts i'm not good at it but i'm, I'm gonna say i do arts and crafts i have an etsy store where i sell assorted arts and crafts sometimes i'll do commissions uh sometime uh, sometimes I'll do commissions, sometimes I'll just sort of find something on the street and fix it up with a quirky design like giving something a mustache or painting it to look like a bee. Damn, I wish that were me. Ooh, so you're an artist and you upcycle trash. That's cool, Zach. See, I'm, I'm living my best life. I'm, I'm doing art. Uh, oh, thanks. I really love what I do. It used to be cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would like to do like a, like a fun art and craft thing. Thanks, Stella. Most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrows when I tell them what I do. But you know what? I love it. She, she does YouTube. I, I think she gets it. It might not be much, but it's empowering to feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. Believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up on what I do for a living. And I didn't point out, but, but doggy chewing on some stick. A crisp breeze passes over you. What about you? What's your living situation? I mean, we could sit in silence. That'd probably be better than asking, hey, hey, YouTuber, how's, how's money? Um, but, you know, 
Let's try and be friendly. This is probably bad. What about you? What's your living situation? Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. It's actually the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. My great-grandfather built that house, and he must have done a great job because it's just as sturdy as it's ever been. Oh, our, the, the house that that Tabitha in? Not, not, not so much. Keeping the house in the family? Is it just you? Um, see, that feels... I mean, I, we're about to say the same thing. Maybe a uh, keen eye might be better. So let's just say it. Keeping the house in the family. Is it just you there? Yeah, it's just me and Gretchen. My parents died a few years back. But it's okay. I've done my mourning. Life goes on, and we still get to live our beautiful family home. We still get to live in our beautiful family home. Just me and Gretchen. It could be a lot worse. What were they like? I'm sorry for your loss. Uh... I guess we'll, like, relate? My mom died pretty recently, so I get it. It's alright if you ever need to talk about things. Oh, well, thanks, Zach. That's really sweet of you. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Hanging in there. Terrible, to be honest. Uh, oh, that, I was glad to see her go. It does sound like she might have been, uh, like, we heard people in the town say, like, she, like, sad. Like, she was just kind of forever sad. because Probably because of ghost bullshit, but I don't feel much about it. I'd rather not talk. We'll just be like, yeah, I'm hanging in there. It's okay. I'm hanging in there. It was a long time coming, so it wasn't a surprise. I would kind of come to terms with it by the time it actually happened. And it's not all bad. She doesn't have to be in pain anymore. That's a relief. The hospital bills are another story, though. Yeesh! Can't even imagine how bad that must be. It's just salt in the wound at that point. Whoa. Uh, it's probably just another totally normal deer. Uh, Stella immediately packs her bag and slings it over her shoulder. Stella immediately... Oh, yeah. Uh, mystical. That wasn't a sound meant for human ears. Everything else went quiet. Um, Jesus Christ. Skunk ape! More deer. Uh, please tell me that was a raccoon. Um, I'm not sure. Notice, like, creeping her out more wouldn't be um, a good idea. So let's just, let's just, like, focus on, like, what's happening as opposed to, you know, the magic part. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the magic part for when we need to do magic stuff, you know? I could hear all sorts of wildlife just a second ago, and now it's quiet. You're right. And whatever made that sound is close. She kind of had a, like a, yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> Isn't it cool face? Uh, like right before. Here, hold Gretchen's leash for me and check this out. And we know we got to be careful with Gretchen's leash because she's a little potato and they don't make uh, harnesses for potatoes. You and Stella inch toward the tree line as she shines her flashlight into the brush. Shh. That sounded like a chicken. As you oppose a series of weak clucks uh, call out from a nearby bush. So I guess we're probably about to run into Duke uh, hunting his mountain lion. Quote, unquote end quote nobody really knows maybe duke's birds weren't eaten after all is that an egg oh no uh, 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 mm, it left there was like a bird and there was like i thought it was an egg but i think it was like a big tumor actually um it took me a little too long to like parse what that was but luckily what what the what the hell was that hold on i gotta play that back holy shit i'm guessing it must be maybe two three feet tall it doesn't look hairy either so i think we can rule out skunk ape whatever it is it has one of duke's chickens i didn't see the thing i only saw the chicken because i saw the big tumor thing on the chicken i thought it was an egg and i was trying to like parse what was around it so i'm guessing there's probably something like a little bit more scary like in this area i wish you would have shown us the camera so i could have seen <laughs> looks like it's headed north let's go after it right behind you i wasn't bored with this whole thing but now that we found something uh oh no what have you got me into do do we have to follow stella we'll just yeah right behind you you know, we could just follow her, but, you know, we should probably confirm to her, like, hey, yeah, I'm coming. You follow Stella as she sprints into the unknown Gretchen, excitedly pulling uh, you along by her leash. I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably carry Gretchen at this point since we know, oh, no, she's tripping. And there's the chicken. Oof. Are you okay? Oh, my God, the monster's got you. We're going to die out here. Uh, tripped. And here I thought you were a hardened mountain girl. Uh, good thing I was uh, the one holding Gretchen. Say nothing. Yeah, let's just ask if she's okay. There's no reason to be snarky about it. You Okay. Yeah, haha, <laughs> yeah, I'm just all I'm all right. I just tripped on something weird. Oh no, that poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's. Oh Jesus, it's still alive. Yeah, we heard the clucking earlier. Investigate the chicken. Don't go near that. Yeah, we shouldn't go near that. Jesus, Stella, don't go near that. That thing's diseased. <laughs> oh, Gretchen looking back. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to touch it. Not with my hands, at least. And hey, I'm sorry that this is turning out to be so grisly. I swear it's not normally like this. We can go home after I film this, if that's what you want. Uh, 
uh, I'm committed to this. Uh, don't worry about me. I can keep going. Yes, please. See, if scary things are happening. We should probably leave, but I'm committed to this. Like, I, I, I like the scare. I want to see scary stuff. Um, yeah, I'm committed to this. Please, I'm committed to getting the bottom of this. I just didn't want you to pick up some weird sort of cryptid disease or something like that. Look, look at Gretchen. Gretchen's like, what the hell are we doing? We gotta go. Haha, -ha. Uh, good to hear, and I'm sorry I ever d doubted your resolve. Let's film and continue the hunt. Ahem, it seems we found one of Duke's chickens, folks, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Could be a tumor, could be something else. Either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. Jeez, I'm going to have to put a ma massive content warning up for this video. Hey, do you hear that? Oh, there's Duke. What in Sam Hill are you two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to... B Birdie? Oh, Birdie, what's wrong, darling? Good God. Did you all see what did this to her? Uh, no, but I'm pretty sure we can hear them. Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, we caught a glimpse of something earlier. It wasn't us. Please don't shoot me. Why should I tell you anything? Uh, we caught a glimpse of them earlier. Uh, I don't want to say the, the hear them part. That Okay. This whispering might just be us who can hear it i'm gonna air towards that so we'll just let's just uh yeah let, let's let's do it you know let's go full horror movie we didn't see whatever did this to your bird but i think we can hear them right now ah uh, don't tell me you're caught up in stella's nonsense duke i'm so sorry we were on the trail when we found her like this put that camera away for god's sake girl i don't want to be in another one of your videos no one needs to see me like this no one needs to see Birdie like this. You wouldn't put her online, would you? Not when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. Duke, did you hear what Zach said? I think they're coming close. Okay, so she can hear him too. Come out, you sons of bitches. Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. You hear that, Stella? That ain't the sound of something peace-like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. Uh, oh, gotta, gotta look out for, for the baby. Okay, no, the baby's fine. I thought the baby might have been getting away. Come on, you. Whatever your name is, grab that flashlight and help me out. Help me line up a good shot. Okay, I thought the, like, grab, uh, whatever your name was was, like, you know, like, talking to the monsters. As the creatures in the tree line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against her harness. Um, oh, okay, so this is, like, an important, like, thing. Like, we die for the flashlight, we can see the monsters. But if we don't die for Gretchen, she's gonna get away. We're gonna die for Gretchen. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Duke. But I know about the potato. I know about the potato, but now we're not gonna see any monsters. I pro- Why am I not saving? We have saves! <laughs> I'm so dumb. You dive forward and scoop Gretchen in your arms just before she managed to uh, wriggle out of her harness. God damn it. Yeah, now you can't line up the shot against this totally normal deer. Oh, damn. It flipped the gun on him. You hear a body hit the ground, and then quiet as chaos fades and the sounds of nature creep back in. Gretchen? Zack? Duke? Are you alright? Woe is me, a post-mortem Cassandra. Yeah, I'm just glad we're not dead. Uh, just a little shaken up? No. Um, I guess I'll say yeah, because I'm alright, but I don't know if they, like, it sounds like she didn't see that Duke wasn't all right, so I'm not sure if that was like something that we, the the viewer, saw, or if like we, our player character, was able to see it. So I'll just I'll just say yeah, because the, the the mystical po po uh, <clears throat> point seems to have been uh would be moot at this point, you know. Yeah, I'm okay. You, I'm okay. Gretchen whines and shakes in your arms. Gretchen, here, I'll take her, my poor little pup. Thanks for watching her. Do they not hear the gunshot? D Duke, are you okay? I mean, I guess he goes around shooting stuff, so. They're used to it. Oh, wow. That uh, that did not go. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Duke, holy shit. What do we do now? What the hell are we supposed to do? We have to go after those things. We've got to go to the police. Let's just forget this ever happened. Can we please just go home? Stand in stunned silence. Um, we should not go after those things. I don't particularly want to go to the police, but... Um, hmm. We, we shouldn't go after, um, that's, uh, I don't want to do it, but we should go to the police. Wh what do you mean, what do we do? We've got to take this to the police, a man's dead. You're right, you're right. We have footage of what happened here. 
but it's so dark and shaky. It just seems so unbelievable. We need more footage. Oh, okay, I probably should have said we should just go after it. Yeah, come on. Let's go after them before we lose our chance. Lead the way. Are you sure this is a good idea? Are you sure? A man is dead, Stella. I'll just... Yeah, are you sure this is a good idea? You sure this is a good idea, Stella? Nope. Uh, okay, well, if, if we're going full horror movie, lead the way. I want to see more of that totally normal deer. Good to know. Lead the way. Keen eye, as Stella looks for a lead, you notice a faint trail of blood leading into the woods. Duke's shotgun blast must have tagged the creature in the scuffle. See those blood stains? Looks like we have a trail. Stella, look at those blood stains. I think we have a trail to follow. You're right. Duke must have tagged one before he... Let's go before the trail is cold. Are we going to take his gun? I didn't see the gun. Oh, more totally normal deer. Uh, as you and Stella push through the woods, the unearthly sounds once again surround you. Stella, oh my god, they're back. Just ignore them. Uh, let's just, oh my god, they're back. Oh god, they're back. I, the real answer is like, probably like, hey, Ron, look, my baby's so scared. Does the tongue have eyes? Maybe it's just like the, the white on it. There's a clearing up ahead. There's a lot of these 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 totally normal deers. Oh, that one has multiple arms. That's fun. Stella stops in her tracks a few feet ahead of you. Holy shit. I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah, we saw a man die, and there's a... Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, these are the animals. Oh, baby, so sad. Like, Yeah, there's a lot of animals here, like, all lined up. And a lot of them have the, the tumors we've been saying. The shrieks pull back to steady whispers as you and Stella stumble upon the putrid bodies of... Dozens of dead and dying animals. A sinking realization pulls at your gut. This is their nest, and you are surrounded. More of those swellings. All the animals here have them. Or had them. And there's all of our friends. Mystical, they want us to leave, Stella. Why aren't they attacking us? We need to get out of here. We should have grabbed that shot. We should have grabbed the shotgun, yeah. They want us to leave, Stella. We shouldn't be here. We shouldn't have seen any of this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We have enough footage. Let's get the hell away from this nest before things get ugly. More friends. Oh, this one's this one's making a lunge to pet the dog. I don't blame it. Just as you follow Stella in a mad dash through the woods, uh, so, uh, so too do the unearthly hollers and whispers of the nest. In the highest branches of the trees and down on the forest floor, they're all around you and casually keeping a pace with your all-out sprint. There's a, is that, oh, I, maybe it's her truck. We're almost there. Do we manage to escape? Is there, uh, maybe we should. Oh, you and Stella reach the main road and the cries of the creatures uh, fade back into the sounds of nature. It sounds like they've stopped following us. I should get the, I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. You feel a buzz in your pocket. Uh, Miss call Tabitha, Tabitha, Tabitha. Uh, where are you, Tabitha, Tabitha? Where the hell did you go? 13 text messages. Six calls. Uh, call her. Text her that you're okay. Yikes. Tabitha has been blowing up my phone. I didn't think Tabitha would be so needy. What? Oh, I think I'm in trouble. It's nothing important. Uh, we'll just text her that we're okay. You text Tabitha back. Let her know you're okay. Your message sits unread. I guess I'll call her. You try and call Tabitha back, but it goes straight to voicemail. Um... Uh, like, I, like, yikes, Tabitha's been blowing up my phone. Don't want to say that one. I uh, don't want to call her needy. The whoa-oh, I think I'm in trouble. Seems a little poor taste. Uh, it's nothing important. We'll just keep it to yourself. You slide your phone back in your pocket. You can deal with Tabitha later. All right, let's, uh, let's call the police. Stella pulls out her phone and dials. Hello, Earl? It's Stella Richmond. I'm up on the mountain trail in Azina? As Gina? Is Gina Trail? I'm going to say is Gina Trail. I, I'm probably very, very incorrect. Duke is dead, Earl. Shotgun. It happened right in front of us. There's there's something in the woods. you got to hurry. Okay, okay, yeah. Are they really gone? Yeah, I think we're okay, but hurry. Jesus, Earl. Who's going to tell Bo? I guess now we wait. I do feel bad that I let a man die, but we had to pick between the... um. Uh, we had to pick between the poor, the poor baby puppy, and Duke. And I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry, Duke, that I let you die. But I don't want the poor baby to die either. There's probably. Yeah, I bet most people do pick the dog. But you know, I'm still gonna feel bad that we we let we let the man die. 
It takes a little while, but eventually a patrol car arrives at the scene. Out of it walk two officers, Sheriff Hugby, that's a fun name, a friendly older man, uh, and Deputy Franklin, a serious man wearing sunglasses despite it being the middle of the night. I think this was the guy that I pointed out earlier that had like a troll face uh, shape face. Um, God, why do I still remember troll faces? I haven't seen one of those in like 10 years. Damn. Brains are bad. See, right there, a thing jumps out of the wood and then the shotgun goes off. What in Sam Hill? Was this some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? Could have been a naked maniac. As the video reveals the creature's nest, Franklin ever so slightly lowers his sunglasses. Or a whole bunch of naked maniacs. The heck is that? Some kind of crop circle? They killed Duke. Uh huh. Now, now we're gonna have to confiscate this camera, Miss Richmond, if you don't mind. This is evidence. But I. Okay. Let me just turn it off to save the battery. Kenai, you notice Stella pop out something. Pop something out of the camera and slide it up in her sleeve. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. We appreciate your compliance with the law. We'll get a team out here in the morning to retrieve the body, but for now, Sheriff Hugby and I... Please, call me Earl. Earl and I will escort you in. Uh, who, who are you exactly? That's Zack. He came into town today for the funeral. Zack? As in... Tabitha's cousin, yeah. Damn, didn't think you'd actually show. We'll escort you both back to town. If there's a naked maniac on the loose, it's best you don't walk back on your own. It wasn't a... Uh, never mind. Why uh, Why aren't you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Uh, the things could uh, attack someone else. Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is going anywhere at this point. He'll just he'll still be out there in the morning. Damn, I do not like Earl. We only have a st skeleton crew, crew at the moment. Monday nights are Deputy uh, Dirksen's bowling nights. We'll we'll be on a Franklin. You're not getting the voice anymore because I'm tired. I'm tired of you. We'll be we'll be on alert for any more reports of naked maniacs. But retrieving Duke, we'll just have to wait. Now, if you'll just kindly step in the vehicle, we can uh, return you safely to home. Oh, I'm guessing the truck we saw then uh, was Duke's and not hers. Stella size. Okay, thank you. You can ride up front with me, little lady. That is, if your mama per permits. Haha, <laughs> sure, Earl. You can hold Gretchen on the way back to town. Dog's gonna get the front seat, which means <laughs> we sat in the back seat with with um, Franklin. Oh, or they they were probably both in the front, and then Gretchen sat in his lap. That that actually makes more sense. I was thinking like they they cram the three of us back there in like the the cage seat room that cop cars have. Do all cop cars have those cage room things, or is, I, I I don't know shit about uh, cops. Um, so it, it doesn't matter. You're, you're both bastards, even if you like the, the cute puppy. Um, uh, you two stay out of trouble. We'll have the sword in the morning. Just get a good night's sleep. Yeah, we're going to end you, whatever your name is. Zach, IP freely. Fox Mulder. Remain silent. We'll just, yeah, I'm Zach. Sure. You're in town for this funeral? Good. Don't go leaving before then. I imagine we need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Stella, keep an eye on him for us. Make sure he doesn't get into any more trouble. Y'all have a good night now. Bye-bye, Gretchy. Y'all have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. Uh, I think there's something up with the cops. It's just a, a sentence you can say at any statement. Or any statement. A sentence you can say at any moment. It would, it would be true. And here you are, back in town, away from the woods with no one but still in sight. They seemed a little blasé about everything. Keep an eye on me. Are they for real? Can't say I'm surprised. Would I ever agree to go with the woods? How are you holding up? Um, yeah, I, I feel like I honestly would probably say this one, but yeah, how how are you? How am I holding up? I mean, not great, but I'm more worried about you. I can't believe they just implied you're a suspect, even after we showed them all that footage, even after we found that, that nest. But it's okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I was there. I filmed the whole thing, and at the very least, it'll never hold up in court. And it won't get to that point either, because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. We've got to find out more about those things. If we can get clear footage, or better yet, trap one of them, there's no way they can blame you for what happened. We're going full Scooby-Doo on this. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've read every book on cryptids they have. Never came across anything like this. Mm. There is someone in town might have some useful information. <clears throat> Her place isn't far. We should head over before it gets any later. Let's do it. Sure, why not? Let's keep this nightmare going. Uh, I should check in with um, Tabitha. Uh, you can talk to your friend's mom. I'm going to bed. Screw this, I'm out. I We should check up on Tabitha. I should probably check in on Tabitha. 
My friend's place is on the way back, and stopping shouldn't take too long. You sure you don't want to stop in for a visit? I know I wouldn't want to head up that mountain road by myself after everything that's happened tonight. Uh, oh, oh, fine. Uh, when you put it like that, I should really head back. Sigh and resignation. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Let's do this. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, Gretchen's going to absolutely trip you. Dogs love to do that. The general store. This must be where Stella's friend, uh, Kanika, lives. I hope she's still awake. Oh, that's not good. Keen eye, out of the corner of your eye, you spot a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach. Stella, I think someone's watching us. She turns to look. Zack. Jesus. Welcome home. Mystical. Whoever this is, its presence has chilled you to your soul. Before you can respond, the door behind you swings open. A middle-aged woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. You look back, and the figure is already gone, disappeared in the shadows of, ni of the night. I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What bring... Oh, the puppy running around. I love that there's multiple frames of animation for that. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? Hi, Miss For Forsyth? Forsyth? I think it's Forsyth if it has an E, but I think it's like Forsyth. Uh, this is Zach. Is it okay if we come in? You and Miss Forsyth briefly lock eyes. So blinding and overpowering is her aura that you just... That just looking at her feels like staring directly into the sun. Her gaze pierces entirely through you. In that moment, you feel wholly known. And then the moment passes. You see only the middle-aged woman before you. Of course, of course. You're in luck. I just put on water for hibiscus tea. And for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. You're an adult now, after all. Welcome to my little nook. It's nice to finally meet you, Zach. I was so sorry to hear about your mother. Vivian was such a lovely soul, and she's been sorely missed in the holler. And now poor Perlan... Perlan... How, we said Perlan. Yeah, that's how we we're going to say that. Perlan is gone as well. But let's see. Is this like a some kind of tea shop, or does she just really love tea? Oh, it's the general store, store so maybe they do like um, uh, like seeds and shit in here. That's what I'm trying to say. Tea is life. I got some family photos over here. Uh, do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. And we're not offering her, her the peanuts. The peanuts are ours. Uh, who was that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to w be worried about him. Uh, you knew my mom. How'd you know that my mom died? I never met Perlane. You knew my mom? Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. She was such a lovely woman. You should come by sometime. I can delight you with unsavory tales of her youth. I never met Perlane. I never met Perlane. You don't have to pass on your condolences to me. I have no feelings about the woman. Ha, huh, that's fair, child, but it seemed like the right thing to do. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and find out that she's psychic for real. How did you find out about that my mom died? Oh, Pearl Ann was a chatty woman. Not much went on uh, that I wouldn't get an earful of. Bless her heart. She's psychic. She's winking, but we know she's psychic. We need your help. Ah, yes. I suppose pleasantries can wait for another time. What's got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know about the weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? I'm not so sure I follow, dear. I know which oils to use for which aches. I know a bit about uh, classic spiritualism. Just what sort of unexplainable things are you talking about? Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods. Oh my lord. Have you contacted the police? Yes, and they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body until tomorrow. Those things out there. I don't, I don't even know how to describe them. Hmm, I can't say. I don't know much about wi uh, local wildlife. My daughter has always had a brighter gift for nature than I. This wasn't this wasn't the local uh, wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Uh, here, I can show you. Stella pulls out a, a card she swiped from the camera and pops it into her phone. I wasn't about to let the police hold on to this, at least not before we had a chance to make a copy. Smooth. Cops are going to be mad when you find out you kept that. Uh, you can't believe you're withholding evidence? No, it's smooth. Smooth. The cops wouldn't know what to do with that footage anyways. Imagine if they accidentally erased it. Exactly. I'll give it to them if they ask again, but for now, we can examine the footage for ourselves. Where was this? Up the mountain, to the northwest. Within the town limits? Yes. I see. Is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can? I need to plug the memory card into a computer. I could go back and get mine. No need. Kanika should still be awake. She can lend her hers. You'd better come with the, uh, you better come with Stella. I'm sure she'll be more than willing to help a friend than her nosy mother. Sorry, I was trying to read it before the, the whistling got louder. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Kanika, come on out. We could use a little help. What, Mom? Oh. Hey, Stella. And Gretchen, who's a good potato? And a stranger. Oh, she looked freaked out. What are you doing in my house? No, we're not offering the peanuts. The peanuts are us. I was helping Stella with a video and something went terrible. Uh, I just watched a man die. I'm not in the mood to introduce myself. None of your business. That is a good point. We did watch a man die, but... Hi, I'm Zach. Tabitha's cousin? Yep. Sweetie, we were wondering if we could borrow your laptop. Stella and her friend have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Oh, okay. My room's a mess. I'll just bring it out here. Heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. Duke got killed out in the woods tonight. It's on the recording. Wait, are you serious? Duke's dead? We can watch this without you. You know, I have a harder stomach than any of our friends. I'm pressing play. Silence washes over the room as the video plays. And she looks away because, yeah, you don't want to see that again. Stella, what the hell is this? Oh, Sailor Moon! Hell yeah! Uh, I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Zack and I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it. Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Really, I'm okay. I'm fine too, thanks for asking. Well, I'm not fine. I'm just gonna, yeah, no, no need to be snarky. Poor Duke. Poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? We talked to the police. I hope they told Bo, Bo, but Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be in much of a hurry to do anything. I'll call him later tonight, but for now we have something far more serious to discuss. What happened in the woods? We weren't supposed to see any of that. I agree those things are still out there, more serious than a man's death. I didn't like Duke anyway, that's not... Duke, Duke loved he chicken. He probably wasn't bad. Probably. Whatever happened in the woods, we weren't supposed to see any of that. You're not wrong. These things, my grandmother called them ditchlings. They are a terrible omen, a sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whatever's doing this is serious. Stop sc scaring Stella and Zack with this tailipo ta crap? I actually don't know what tailipo is, or if I'm saying it right. A man just died. Have some respect. Kanika, sweetie. Let your mother talk. Uh, the creatures themselves are harmless to people, despite that grisly scene in the woods. How can you say that? Duke is dead. An unfortunate accident and nothing more. Just as birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. To see so many in one place is... Sybil holds her silence. Jesus, Mom, they've ha clearly had a rough night. They don't need this. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. Uh, Stella, whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We can't rule that out, not after what we saw. But fine, let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw that nest. Uh, what what were those growths? Maybe the ditchlings were here for Duke. Um, Kanika has a point, Stella. Uh, don't buy into this magic nonsense. Maybe they're, maybe they're making more of themselves. Uh, whatever it is, it's not good. Yeah, maybe they uh, infect someone with like the... the tumor or anything and then they turn into one of them maybe they're making more of themselves yeah maybe what we're seeing here is some sort of a parasitic larval stage part of their life cycle but i don't want to jump to any conclusions about something this out there not without doing some research or talking to a biologist i'm sure there's a rational explanation that'll clear all of this up oh dear i forgot entirely about the tea that i put on let me fix you up a couple of cups uh, it'll help soothe your nerves i don't know it's getting pretty late i should let zach get some rest I ran him ragged today with all the hiking and running around through the woods in terror. I can keep going. I'm still wired. Yeah, I'm about ready to pass out. It was nice meeting you, though. You don't have to leave on my account. Uh, and then, thank God, let this miserable night finally end. I'm tired as shit. Okay, I'm actually going to make a save here. Okay, so that save will be useful because, honestly, um, I personally think we should probably go back because I'm worried about Tabitha. Tabitha, probably perfectly fine and just like mad because like, you know, we went out all day and she'd be like, oh, where the hell are you? Blah, 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 blah. She probably isn't being attacked by ditchlings. Um, but I'm going to just continue down. Like, let's let's learn a bit more about what's going on here. Um, and then maybe I'll probably come back and maybe change my decision. I I'm not sure. It'll depend. I, I don't know. I should be saving more, though. Um, I can stay out. I'm still wired from everything that happened. Huh, okay. Maybe it's just that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. 
I'll ask around on my usual forums to see if anyone has information on ditchlings. If, is that what you called them? That's right. You go on home now and do try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on the online. Uh, let me get you some of my house-made peppermint tea to go. It really does wonders to soothe the soul. Bye, Stella. Uh, I'll see you around tomorrow, okay? And call me if you need to talk. Thanks, Kanika. I'll see you. Bye, Zach. I don't think she likes us very much yet. Uh, it's it's excellent iced or warm, though. With the nights getting chillier, warm would probably be best. Helps wake up the bones. Oh, she gave us just, like, tea to, like, take, not, like, drink. Be careful out there, both of you. Sybil turns and closes the door behind her. Alrighty, let's head back home. My home, I mean. So we're, we're now we're going to have to walk home all alone and be scared. And here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. I should probably head back before Tabitha has a conniption. I should probably head back and check on Tabitha. Um, <laughs> hell yeah, sleepover! Um, no, nah, I think I'll, I need some time alone. Thanks, I'm terrified of being alone tonight. Thanks, I'm terrified of seeing Tabitha. See, this is, this is another useful save, because like I, like I said, I personally am worried about Tabitha, but, you know, that's the kind of thing in, like, these kinds of scenarios, like, we would just go and she's like, where the hell were you all day, blah, 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 blah. Um... But I do want to say, hell yeah, sleepover. Um, perhaps we could explore both routes. Um, I mean, for the I guess for the sake of video, um, even if I want to explore both routes, let's, let's just pick one. Let's let's just we're we're going all in. She's gonna study up on the cryptids. Let's let's learn let's learn a bit more. And also, if we have to walk, well, if we walk back, we might see something scary. Hmm. Okay, I've I've decided. I had to think about it. I I mentally flipped a coin in my head. Uh, we're gonna go back and check on Tabitha. Uh, I would love to like stay and learn more about the the the, the Ditchlings and uh, and do do research and get to see the Potato go to sleep. But I'm gonna walk home and be very afraid and see Tabitha. I should probably head back and check on uh, check on Tabitha. That's sweet of you. Are you sure you're okay heading back up that mountain alone? I'm more terrified of Tabitha than those things in the woods. Sybil said that those things were harmless. On second thought, um, I'll just silently nod, I guess. Eh, well, well, you know, Sybil said that ditchlings are harmless. I think it'll be okay. It's not far. Well, I won't stop you if you really want to go back. Here's my number. Call me when you get there, okay? And good luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we're in this together. It's not like I have much of a choice. I don't know. I'm leaving town as soon as I can. And we're in this together. Yeah, we got to figure out the mystery of the ditchlings, even though the ditchlings are just a, a portent, it would seem, not the actual uh, bad thing that's going on. Yeah, we are. Stay safe, buddy. Bye, Gretchen. And Stella. You begin. I, I, I don't mean to make it sound like I dislike Stella or anything. Um, I guess she's she's fun. And like, I, like I've been saying, I enjoy the spooky stuff. So like, honest to God, like when it was like, Oh, I go out in the woods. I was like, ooh, tell me more. And also, I came in knowing that she was a YouTuber from a, a screen cap I had saw. So I was like, oh, making YouTubes about... Oh, my God. I just called a YouTube video a YouTube. It's like I'm fucking 100,000 years old. Um, yeah, and, you know, making YouTubes about scary monsters. That sounded fun. Um, also, the, the dog is good. Uh, you begin the long hike back up to the Scarlet Estate alone. Continue down the path. Any spookies want to come out? Almost home. Continue down the path. Ah, yes. Good old crumbling, crumbling house. Fallen into the, the ravine. Your salvation is in sight. You make a mad dash for the door. Try the door. As you reach for the doorknob, as you reach for the knob, the door swings open. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> I called you back. I called you back as soon as I had reception. Did you? I didn't notice. Uh, explore. Did you know someone named Wayne? Wait, Wayne. I don't know where we we got that name from. So I'm. So you used to go by Tabby, huh? Uh, I watched a man die tonight. I went to leave. Look, I got suckered into this something. It was weird. I met this girl in town, and we hit it off. None of your business. I don't know who. Oh, Wayne was the the scary man. Do you know someone named Wayne? I have no idea what you're talking about. So you used to go by Tabby, huh? We, mm, yeah, we probably don't want to freak her out, so let's just, you know, we'll be a little annoying to, like, you know, like, huh, you know, ribbon. Probably not the right way to, you don't want to start ribbing someone, like, when you're unfamiliar, but, you know, just a cute little nickname that uh, an old friend used to have, you know, that might be fun. Ah, uh, so you met Stella, then. 
She's gotten you all worked up. Ugh, that explains everything. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Uh, I need to leave this town as fast as possible. What? You don't want to hang out? C can you tuck me in? Um, you, we don't want to annoy her. Um, so, yeah, good night. And then she just yeeted herself, like, right off the screen. You're alone in the estate. The sound of wind whistling through the house gives you an uneasy feeling in your gut. It's probably best to turn in and try to leave the night behind you. Oh, I thought I was like, oh, ghost, cool. But no, that's just a chair with a thing over it. The ghost is right there, though. Obvs. Oh, some dead, dead uh, flowers. That's sad. Uh, as you settle into your room, you remember that Stella asked you to call once you got back. Yeah, let's call her. Uh, you pull out your phone and call. Hey, how are you? Did you make it back? Uh, all good? Yeah, how are you? Are you okay? I died, actually. <sighs> yeah, I've... I've... Look, uh, it's in bad... It's in bad taste, so I shouldn't say it, but... I... I actually died on my way home. This is my ghost. Haha, -ha, you're very funny. But wait, are you serious? You have to tell me if this is a joke. It's been a weird night, okay? Ooh, I'm a ghost in the machine. Okay, I'm going to choose to believe you're joking. Now go get kids some Zs, which my name is Zach, so I'm always getting Zs. If that's something ghosts do, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Unless you are dead, and this is my one chance to talk to someone from beyond the grave. Ugh, this is stressful. I'm going to hang up. Uh, from the relative safety of this uncomfortable bed and the events of the past of the past evening seemed like something that happened to someone else though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments for now you're safe and you're warm eventually the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing but a bad dream maybe tomorrow if you're lucky you'll wake up in the normal world and have a boring week in the mountains with your sour-faced cousin it's a nice thought but deep down you can't help but worry that things will only get worse So that was Scarlet Hollow episode one. I really liked that. That was really cool. So I was a a, uh, a little, oh, and get a discounted key for the rest of the game through the month of October. Um, thank you for uh, r bringing up the Kickstarter again. Uh, I hope I wouldn't have forgotten, but I forget things very easily. If you'd like to continue with this world state in episode two, please save your game now. So let's just go ahead and boop. We'll continue this. Uh, we'll t oh, cool. I was, I was hoping there'd be a um, credit. That's what you call these. So, yeah, this was very cool. Uh, part of me was a little bit worried about the, like, romantic part of that because I was like, eh, you know, I kind of like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't I want to do spooky. I don't want to do date. But um, I was just being a curmudgeonly old man. And it turns out romance and, romance and spook go together. You should always have a little bit of scary and your romance date 
Um, yeah, so yeah, this game was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I've uh, I was like going to back um, one of the backing levels on the Kickstarter is like for ten dollars. It's called like the patient backer or whatever, where it's like you, you pay ten dollars, you, you'll get the full game when it's finished. Because I personally kind of don't like to play things. Um, you know, I like to just sit down and like play them all at once as opposed to like, um, you know, since it's an episode structure, it'll probably be released like, oh, episode two's done then episode three, you know, as they come out. Uh, but I'll probably end up throwing a little bit more money at it, even though I will probably still play it that way. Uh, just because this was really cool. I very much so enjoyed that. Um, and I, I really liked it. Uh, we didn't get to see all of the uh, dateable people. So maybe I should do something and put it on screen. Maybe that'd be a smart thing. Um, I mean, you can go look at the Kickstarter, uh, but let's let's just do this. Okay, sorry, sorry, I'm putting uh, dateable people in front of you credits. But I just wanted to show off the the romance options because I felt like, you know, the the romantic options are probably going to be very important to uh, th this game. I mean, that's the way that these kinds of games go with like routes and stuff. Um, and it seems like Stella's is going to be a whole lot of like hunting the ghosts and stuff. Uh, we can see Avery there. Um, we see two people we don't know. I think that's a K Kanika. Uh, I got I got to learn how to say her name because I I've, I've never seen that name before. Um, so I'm sorry if I've been saying it wrong. Um, I, th I think that is her. Uh, and then we have um, this like blathers Gaijinka ass looking like uh, um, like historian guy. Probably going to be a fun route to to date the the Giles of the group. You always. If there's a Giles you can go after, that's that's a good that's a good route to go for. Uh, and I don't know who that person on the far right is. I think that might be. I'm just gonna guess it might be Bo. We saw them in that like that ending like cutscene thing that was very cool. Um, like there was like a person who's like hunched over and like crying or something. Uh, so it might be Bo. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I just felt like it'd be important to, to throw out the romantic options here, even though you can go, you, you can go to the Kickstarter and you should go to the Kickstarter so you can get more deets and information. But yeah, this was Scarlet Hollow episode one. I thought it was very, very good.